and we should be live so good evening folks i hope you guys can see me stream isn't late streams like on time it was literally eight o'clock just when i when i went live so uh, good evening um i can see a few people are already in the chat um so mr Grinseppo, v vega uh you pass the man himself uh titan starson uh who else have we got tronics uh is that cc or seal seal something like that um, good evening guys, good to see you all, good to see you all. Today we are building a couple of different boards, uh, as you might have guessed from me testing the specs command. We've got two boards to build today, we've got one which is the Brutal 60 which is here already, and then we've got the Satisfaction 75 uh, as well. Uh, Newpass will be pleased to know that I have tipped up the weight, uh, he doesn't want me to share the weight design with you so you should all bully him in chat to let me reveal that on stream. So start firing your um, comments towards you pass and telling him that I have to um, show it, basically. That it is taped up at the minute, but I, I do want you to uh, see if we can convince him. Um, we're going to start in a few minutes. Uh, I'll talk you through what we've got going on in the build. So you can use the specs command and you'll be able to see it there as well. Uh, if there's any issues with my mic or the music's too loud or anything like that, Brian hasn't been playing with the settings today, this week, so it should be okay. But if he has, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll tweak those as well. Uh, we've got Anarchy in chat as well. Good evening, good sir. Uh, I did catch your stream earlier on. Uh, no, they're not a new sponsor. They're just sponsoring this one stream. Um, Stratronics, they provided kindly some switches for this build as well as some lubricants as well. So they sent me, uh, where have I put it on? Um, I've moved it somewhere. They did send me a massive amount of lube the other day. Oh, it's over here. One second. So they sent me uh, three different lubes. I've only got two of them to hand. Some Trib 3204, 3203 and 205 grade zero. Um, they also sent me the 205 grade zero that's in here. Sorry, no, Trib 3204, 3, 3203 and 205 grade zero, that's it. Um, and they also sent me these face switches, which were... Uh, waiting for me in my package with uh, the modern dolch set that we're going to give away on top crack which reminds me guys if you haven't already entered the competition please do go and enter our competition for a set of modern dolch even hand drawn logo designs may win you know we're not going to be uh, diagnosing the winner based on you know your art or your lack of it it's not about that it's about generating ideas so please do feel free to go and enter um even if it's a crayon drawing on a napkin it might be the best thing that we've seen and it might just trigger us to uh, come up with some more ideas of our own as well uh, so just to confirm my keyboard are sponsoring this one build stream only which is why their logo is just here um and that's because they've provided uh, a lot of the components for this build as well, which was really, really kind of them. So please, guys, do go check them out. Do go hit them up on their uh, Discord server or uh, check out their website. They do do a lot of things for the EU community, and I'm really happy to be working with them. Um, they may be sponsoring more streams in the future. They may not. All depends on how our relationship develops. Uh, who else have we got on stream then? I can see uh, Louis Cypher NB. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Uh, we've got BA underscore RD and we've also got Glue, my brother from another mother, my favourite San Franciscan. Um, good afternoon, Glue. Good afternoon. Uh, we've also got Pilot as well. Hello. Good evening. Um, okay, we're going to take it fairly slow to start with, guys. I'm just going to wait for the bot to ping before we start doing the build. Um, I think I have a couple of messages to post in some of the Discord servers. So I'm just going to do that now. Just make sure that people around the world know that we're live. Now we're not just uh, a US show. Okay. There we go. Cool. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, Crash apparently is in chat as well. Sashim is here. Deadwing Dick. Uh, that's a great username. I love that. That's fantastic. Um, that J01 sound. Yeah, the J01. Uh, I'm going to actually have to strip it down and clean it all up ready for the meetup next week. Um, I'm going to the UK meetup a week uh, as of yesterday. So the Saturday coming, that's uh, that's the going to be the UK meetup. I think I'm taking 11 boards now. Yeah, it's going to be a, a hefty one. Uh, we've also got LBI base. Uh, Jay, did you watch the uh, the 1000 F1 Grand Prix? Yes, I was up this morning. I watched Lewis Hamilton storm to a win. Uh, it was a fantastic race. I felt uh, Leclerc got hard done by uh, some poor decisions by Ferrari. Um, 
The rest of the race was good. Renault had a bit of a mishap. Uh, Ricciardo needs to really assess his options for the next season. Um, and Williams, what are they doing? That's my brief thoughts on the F1 this morning. <laughs> I also watched the golf this afternoon as well. Tiger, what a great day for sport. Tiger Woods, man. That was crazy. <clears throat> I do it on purpose, you know. Uh, Meister Glyn uh, I always do wrong. Germany gang represent. <laughs> um, yeah, they're taking 11 boards. Uh, Alchemist KB, good evening. Uh, so yeah, 11 boards. Uh, so let, let's see if we do J01, Zephyr, Verne, VEA, Alice, um, Germany, uh, TMO50, Satisfaction75, the uh, a Kayak, the Brutal60. What's the other one? I'm missing one. Um, uh, I can't think. There is something else. Oh, the TX60 HHKB copper, which arrives tomorrow. There we go. There we go. Not to mention, I might be taking an additional one home. I'll be taking two additional ones home. Uh, yours may not be the only one, uh, Mr. Alchemist KB. Um, so, yeah. So, there we go. Uh, <laughs> that was right this t time. I'm feeling things. Yeah, I know it, I know how to pronounce it. I just uh, I just say things uh, to wind you up sometimes. Uh, Mr. Petro as well. Um, good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, between me and you, we'll take up half the keyboard space available at the meeting. Anarchy, you know what? There's loads of people that are only taking one board, so we we're gonna be fine. I've I've got us sorted with some space. Don't you worry about that. Um, you welcome to have the table next to mine, and uh, then I can come and look at your vintage stuff because some of it's amazing. I want to see this 5140 as well. So yeah. Um, not so much. Yeah, yeah. Williams keeps the grid from the bottom, and Ferrari is going to lose everything in 2019. Um, well, three for three for Mercedes, right? You know, that's that's how it is. Um, <laughs> Lubed Helio says, am I late? No, we're just starting, man. Just starting. Has the bot pinged yet? I don't think it has, has it? No, not yet. Um, so, no, you're definitely not late. Rumai, not seeing you around, man. Good evening. Uh, good to see you. Uh, LBI bass. No, bass, not bass. Bass. We've got to do it as bass. Uh, type I, I, I did catch part of your stream earlier on Anarchy and I saw you finishing it up um, but I, I was on mobile it's hard to chat and stuff like that but I'm definitely going to watch the whole vid later on when I can and uh, there's the bot pinging excellent okay so we'll make a start in just a minute then now that the bot's pinged oh, it's going to be a busy stream guys my window is open but it's getting warm in here you're killing me all right okay i'll just call you tony or something like that or adam or jack or i don't know give me a random name i'll, I'll call you that uh, i don't see anyone um pestering you past to show the weight off um but uh, when we get on to the satisfaction 75 this is what you're gonna have to see guys oh, this is uh what you're gonna have to see look that's that's all you can see there's 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 nothing to see and it's kind of kind of frustrating um, your real name is Evan. Okay, right. I'll call you Evan then. Cool. Okay. Censored. Yeah, yeah he, he made me censor it, 159. He made me censor it. He, uh, he told me categorically that I wasn't allowed to, uh, to show it on stream. But, um, it is really cool. It is really cool. Um, someone in the UK may have actually seen it because they were at my house before I before I put that on, um, who's in the community, but they promised that they'll keep it secret as well. Article 13 already taking effect. Yep, um, this is uh, UFAS's Article 13. This is Canon Keys 13. Um, <laughs> brand new UFAS and Sailor. No, I'm just wanting you guys to wind him up. Um, uh, that's a super detailed penis that he engraved on the bottom. Uh, maybe, maybe. He did send me a lovely knob though. Um, I know I showed this the other day, but I can show off a little bit better on a build stream. How nice is this, guys? Look at look at my knob. Look at my knob. Look at that. There we go. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer for you guys. It's not going to focus there, I don't think. And also note as well the new camera angle. No more back of the monitor. This is true top vertical down this time. So there we go. There we go. That's that's my knob. I hope you enjoyed seeing my knob. Miss <laughs> uh, Petro says foreskin or not uh, always. Um, nice segue there. Yep. <laughs> Guys, look at Jay's knob. Yeah, lovely knob. It's a handsome knob. Yeah, thank you. Pretty nipple. What proud. Um, I wish I had a mother of pearl knob. Um, yeah, I, it, it's fantastic. It's a hefty knob as well. I'll tell you that. It's a really, it's got a lot of weight to it. Um, 
just in time for the build. Yeah, for the first build. There's two builds today, guys. Um, if you type uh, bang specs, uh, I'll type it in now, um, you will be able to... Oh, oh, I would do if I was on the right screen. You'll be able to see exactly what we're building today. Uh, there we go. It's now popped. So the notebook will tell you exactly what we're building today. We're building the Brutal 60 with Brutal switches, 180 gram uh, springs in these with a 210 gram space. Um, and we're going to build that in a plain 60C provided by Martin that I bought from him a couple of weeks ago. And then we're going to move on to the Satisfaction 75 and put Holy Pandas in that. So it's going to be a bit of a hefty build stream. But the reason for the switches being so heavy is it's a Brutal board. It's called the Brutal 60. It's based off Brutal architecture. Why not put Brutal switches in it? So that's why we have these switches here today, and it's going to be difficult to use, I suspect. Um, so we go, uh, B underscore A, or Bard, I'm just going to call you Bard, it's easier. Jay, I heard that Williams had a big debt Mercedes, who knows, maybe Williams is going to become a satellite team. I've heard this rumour as well, and that would be the only thing that rescues them, so we'll see. It also gives them an opportunity for Ocon next year to have a drive. Uh, given how strong Bottas has been, um, I can't see him leaving the number one team at the minute. And I know that Mercedes are desperate to get Ocon a race seat. Maybe there's something in that. Who knows? Um, so there we go. Uh, bang spec. <laughs> no, not bang spec. Bang is in the uh, the exclamation mark. The, as in the symbol bang. Exclamation mark. There you go. Uh <laughs> Stop trolling. Right, okay, there we go. Um, Mr. Petrol 500, my knob is my passport. Thanks, yeah, I like that, yeah. Um, yeah, bang equals exclamation mark. Yeah, it's just easier than saying exclamation mark. That's why we were calling fake J in um, in the Discord, bang J, because he he had it as exclamation mark J. Um, we've got Necro Woman as well. Necro Woman is the proud proprietor of mykeyboard.eu, uh, along with uh, a lovely other half, uh, Necro Man. Uh, so good evening, Yulia. Uh, thank you for uh, the switches. Thank you for the lube. Thank you for uh, the modern dolch set with Jan the other day. Uh, really great to be working with you guys. Fombat's just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, uh, Fombat, for that sub. I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'm getting in the way of my copper tool. Um, so, yeah, so thank you very much, Yulia. Uh, I really appreciate the support you guys for showing Top Clack uh, and myself. Uh, so thank you very much for the switches. Thank you very much for the lubes. They're really genuinely appreciated. Um, and you'll see both Modern Dolch and the other keys that you sent me last week uh, on stream shortly. Okay. So without wasting any more time, yeah, copper tool. Yeah, well, it's, it's, I say it's copper tool. I got sent this in the post by the company that makes them. Um, I'm, I'm not going to advertise for them and, or, unless anyone wants to know, but it's basically a, a spinning toy. But it it's called, it's called a mesmerizer. Um, it's kind of fun. And if you do it, spin it the other way, it looks like they're going up. Um, it, it is fun, but uh, it's a death toy. It is what it is. Uh, Chewy as well uh, from uh, Mex on Dex. Good evening, good sir. Thank you very much for the chat yesterday. It was really good fun. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Pusher as well. Uh, Rope, hello. God, everyone's turning up now. Okay, guys. I'm going to make a start before we uh, before we get too far into this. Just going to make sure I can see everything I need to see. Okay. Right then, let's get the show on the road. So, as I say, this is the Brutal 60. Uh, we're going to be building it uh, with a plain 60C from Martin. Um, you guys can go check those out on his website. Some of the interesting things, we are using a fixed ISO plate, which is an FR4 material, which is really nice. So we're going to be uh, experiencing that. We're going to build it with um, screw and stabs. These are GMK screw and stabs from Fax. He kind of provided these. Sorry, my desk's so dark you can't see them. Um, he kind of provided these last week with a 7U spacebar, which we can see there. Uh, I think, hang on, wait, oh, is this 6.25? Uh, no, 7U, 7U, yeah, there we go, good, we're good, we're good. Uh, it's wing keyless layout, of course it is, 1.25, 1.251, uh, or whatever, yeah, we'll work it out. Um, and the other thing to know about this is that it's also burger mount, so we've got these nice O-rings, these probably aren't going to show up on the stream, you probably can't see them. Um, but these nice little o-rings they're going to sit on top of the plate and underneath the plate where the bolts go so we'll have a nice mount system um, and then we have these face switches these have been uh, spring swapped to 180 grams uh, sprit springs they've been lubed with Crytox 106 on the spring and they've been uh, 
uh, lubed with 205 grade zero from mykeyboard.eu um, on the stem and the housing as well. So these are now lovely and smooth um, and they're going to make a great switch, but they're really heavy at 180 grams. And then the space bar is in a separate baggie in the bottom. That's 210 grams because um, that was the heaviest spring I had. And I figured if it's going to be a brutal board, we should make the board really brutal. So in terms of the first steps, what we're going to do is just have a look at the board first of all. I'm going to show you around it, uh, show it off a little bit, and then we'll crack on with the build. The first thing to note is it's got these lovely Canon logos here uh, on the plate. Uh, I think they come standard on all of the plates. They're also on the Satisfaction 75 one, which you'll see later on, I think. No, they're not. They're not on there. Um, I think they are going to be in the group boy. Um, underneath the logo is embedded into the uh, aluminium as well. That's a really nice deep logo. It's about two millimeters deep. Uh, it's really etched in there. In terms of the side profile, you can see it's got that lovely brutalist design here with the chamfered edge underneath, flat on top. On the back, uh, USB port, it's quite wide, again it's quite brutal, but it accepts USB mini or USB-C. We'll be using a USB-C board today. Um, you've also got that angle on the back as well, a bit of dirt on there, it's not a mark in the anode. Um, same on the side, and then on the front we've got it quite nice and low uh, with that two-tier design. Uh, carrying all the way around. The one really, really clever element of this uh, is here. That's the seam. So the uh, the two lines that you can see here, one and then two, that's the angle, the chamfer that the uh, the it has on the board. But um, the seam is right along that bottom line all the way around. Um, so having that kind of two tiered design to it does remove the visibility of the line, which is quite nice as well. As you can see, the anode matches really well. Uh, really good anode quality, lovely pale blue, uh, matches nicely, and the base just really nice and simple. Um, again, a few dirt marks on here, that's just from being in the office. Uh, but again, really nicely anodized, lovely shade of blue all across. Board's held in place with more screws you pass than I've ever seen on any other board. You got four across the top, four across the bottom, and then two on the sides. Huge number of screws, um, but we are going to take these out now. There's only two holding it together at the minute, and then we can show you the internals. Okay, so that's one, and then I think the other one is in this top corner. I'm going to need an Allen key for this one. It says, is that where it is? Yes, it is. There we go. That was just a little bit on the stiff side. Not quite done. Almost there. These screws have got more threads on them than I know what to do with. There we go. And that's popped out as well. Um, taking it off, just looking at the inside, you can see that logo in a bit more detail. It's really nice, deeply etched logo. I am tempted to infill it at some point, but that won't be today because um, I don't know what colour to do it. But I am tempted to infill it, maybe with some actual copper paint that I've got. Um, might do that. And then when we look at the mount system, you can see that it's standard top mount and you can use it as top mount if you want. Or alternatively, if you want to take the plate out, you've got some little grooves here for the O-rings. I don't know if it's going to show you the tiny little ones. Don't know if you guys can quite see that just on this one here. There's uh, there's a secondary circle on the hole on the inside. That's where the little uh, rubber O-rings are going to sit and effectively have one on each of those holes going around. You'll then pop the plate in, you'll then have another one on top of the plate and then you'll put the bolt through and screw it all together. And that's how we're gonna mount it. So that's the case guys. I hope that was interesting for you. Now it's time to crack on with the rest of the build. So this is the FR4 plate, this is nice and flexible. Uh, basically just PCB material, so effectively uh, it feels like two PCBs together. Um, this is FR4 as well, and again, fairly flexible. With the Berg mount as well, it's gonna feel quite bouncy, I think, to type on. Uh, just catch up on chat really quickly. Uh, we've got a few more people now. Straight Classy, uh, Change of Danger, good name, I like that. Um, <laughs> Esky Mojo as well, 180 grams. Woo. Uh, Titan's like, yo, that's too light. Yeah, probably, probably. 
Um, such a great colour. It is a lovely colour. Acoustic cannons. Yes, acoustic uh, cannons. That blue is really nice as, uh, as Apocalypse. It is. It is really nice. Uh, we're going to go with Modern Dolch on that board, so it should look really lovely. Um, we have a Canon logo on the bottom in production. Yes, so it's going to be on the outside of the case rather than on the inside. This is because it was just the uh, the prototype run. Um, it's going to be actually on the other side of the case uh, on the outside, which make more sense to do infill on those boards if you're interested in that. Uh, Meh Advice Guy, good evening, good sir, good to see you. Uh, Rita Dando as well, hey, hey. Uh, why is the FR4 plate a different colour to the anti FR4 plates? They're a lot bluer, like the PCB. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, this is just what uh, I ended up getting, but it is FR4. Um, it's PCB material, and I don't know anything else, so I'd have to ask you, Pass Why. Um, <laughs> this is what I got sent, but it's fine. Talisman Solutions with his traditional 1,111 bits. Thank you very much for the support, my man. We really appreciate it. That feeling when the budget board is better than designed than a lot of high-end boards. True, yep. Uh, some high-end boards anyway, at least. XPOPJ said, would you drink Pepsi Max every stream instead of Coke if I can get them to sponsor you? Uh, how did you know I was going to have a Coke? Um, but yes, I would. I would definitely drink Pepsi Max. I quite like it. Um, you're on my coffee's going cold as well. Um, Mr. Patrick, because during the poll way before, blue one for Ansi and white one for Sangan. Did I vote for white then? I can't remember. Okay, lots of people turned up as well now. Okay, right. Um, okay, fair enough. If I voted for it, I voted for it. That's fair. So what we're going to do first is put the stabilizers in here. I'm not going to cover my method because we've got two builds to do and I'm already 23 minutes into the stream. So I'm just going to try and catch up as quickly as possible. Um, for this build we need three stabilizers. We need one for the space bar, uh, we need one for the backspace and one for the ISO enter key. So we're going to go ahead and prepare those now. Make sure I'm keeping my tools together. That's one, two and three housings. And then that's one, two and three inserts. Gonna pop these back in here. Don't need one of those, and there should be two screws in there. We're going to be using a 7U stabilizer on the space bar today, and then we've got two 2U two ones as well. And I'm just going to pop these screws just up here. I'll grab my little mat. Hopefully, all my cinema tickets in. Um, I think they're actually ballet tickets, if I remember rightly. Uh, yeah, there you go, Mr. Petrov. You'll be a fan. Matthew Bourne, Swan Lake. Um, so there we go. Off to the ballet with the wife. God knows why. Um, oh, we've also got Yanka. Oh, Yanka, I'm so happy to see you on stream, man. Um, I can't wait to see you next Friday. Uh, I've really missed you, dude. Really missed you. So we need to catch up on Friday night next week for some beers and some drinks and some long chats. And I need to meet your uh, new other half. Um, Upa says, oh, hi, Yanka. Jay's building some Canon keys boards. I am building two Canon keys boards today. Um, will you be using any sort of sound dampening material, either the foam that came with it or Sorbo or tool liner? Um, I actually have been testing out with the, pe with the plate in there and rattling it around a little bit, which is not really an accurate science, but what I will be using... is this. Um, and it's going to be uh, a while before I get a chance to do it. It's not going to be on stream today because I won't have time. But this is really thick and it's layered and I can quite easily peel it out to the right thickness uh, and layer it up in the case as well. So I'm going to be using this to dampen the sound inside the case um, when I get around to it. There we go. Um, Yanka's building uh, some uncool Heliodox. Um, what's the name of the black one on the desk? Uh, Tony or Tony. This is the J01. Uh, this is my personal custom. Um, it's um, a one-off at the moment. There's a 15 spot group by that's just run. Everyone's just paid the amount for that. The manufacturing starts on Monday, but that's all there's ever going to be. There's just going to be the 15 in that run and this one, so 16 in total. So there's not going to be any more. Uh, if you do want to see more about the J01, you can go back on Top Cracks old streams on YouTube and you'll be able to see two build streams on there where I build two different plate versions, a carbon fibre one, which is what's in here today, uh, and also a uh, brass plate build, which is on the wall behind me, just up here, uh, so you can just see the top of it there. 
Um, <laughs> uh, we shall love. Good. I'm glad. I can't wait to see you. I, can't, I, I really can't wait to see you. Uh, interesting. Not tried that stuff before. Thanks. Um, Eskimo just says, I'm really hoping to get a satisfaction. Is it confirmed how many units it will be limited to? I will defer to the wonderful uh, Mr. Upass, who will be able to answer that for you. But whilst he's doing that, I'm going to uh, just really quickly trim all of these stabilizers. Get them fitted together, get them lubed, and get them in the board. Uh, do you generally rotate through your boards for daily use? Um, do you know what? I used to do a lot, yes. And since I've built the J01, which is kind of designed for my use case, I haven't really moved around much on boards. Um, I do tend to change work boards more often than home boards at the minute. Um, I'm currently using the Cypher that I built on stream a few weeks ago, uh, which is from Cable Car Designs or Max. I'm not sure if Max is watching, but if you are, love you, man. Uh, okay, fine guys, let me update. Top pack exclusive news, there will be at least 75 units. There we go. <laughs> his offspring, the J01. Jay's depriving the rest of us of his masterpiece as punishment for disrespecting ISO. Um, not really. Um, I just, I don't think the market's there for too many of this particular type of board, especially given the complexity of it and the cost. Um, the J02 will be something that I'll run at a larger group by scale, I think, if the demand's there for it. Um, and of course, there's GMK Americana, which is my key set that started out as a Donald Trump GMK MAGA uh, April Fools. But uh, GMK Americana is going to run. Uh, the IC is going to go up soon, uh, hopefully this week. I'm just waiting on a couple more renders from Genlad, and then that'll be uh, that'll be up and going. So we'll see how the IC goes for that. Um, we love Max. Yeah, Natty, we do love Max. He is such a good good lad. Um, and the uh, the cipher is really nice. Um, I have a 50% chance of getting one. Uh, oh, 50% better chance. Yes, because he said 50 and changed to 75. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Petrov says, have you seen the new mounting solution for the U80 from Rama? It looks cool. Um, yes, I have seen... Uh, the new mounting system. And what's really interesting about it is effectively they've got the plane. And I know it's a TKL, um, but they've got the plate, and then underneath the plate they've got a section which is uh, effectively a rubber mounted gasket, and they're calling it the mute or the muted or something like that, and effectively it goes all in between the keys, all the rows and the columns, and then it, it's compressed between the keys. It looks like it's going to be basically sandwich fit um, and a five mil, pretty much like how the Zephyr goes together with a thick brass plate, but with rubber instead. Now, what's really interesting about this is the fact that the J01, the way the gasket works on the J01, is the gasket originally overlapped the edges by a little bit and sat on a skirt around the edges, but then all went in between the plate and the PCB. And I took that out because it ruined the sound too much. The whole idea of isolation mount of the J01 was to try and limit that kind of sound and the case resonance and all of that kind of stuff and make sure that it was a really crisp, clear sound of the switches and the plate and the keycaps that you were hearing. And that's what I think I've achieved with this. Putting it all in between kind of removed that. But what I think Rama is looking at is how to completely mute down the sound of a board as much as he can. And in that respect, that's exactly what his solution is going to do. So I think he'd be really successful at what he's doing. Um, and having tried it, I, I, I know that it does dampen sound a lot, so I'm really interested to try the board itself. Um, but it is a really interesting solution, and uh, I'm keen to see it in production. So there we go. Uh, is it safe to make the mounting points on a PCB larger by filing it down? Um, you can file a PCB down, yeah, as long as you're not going through any threads or traces, you should be all right. Uh, if you're ever not sure, just PM me a picture and ask if, uh, if I can advise you on where you need to trip. Okay, so we're going to crack on with these, get these put together and built. Uh, put these stabilizers in. I hope you guys appreciate the new camera angle as well. It's now top down. It's literally vertical above my hand instead of coming off the back of the monitor in front of me, and which is where this camera is, uh, and kind of looking down at an angle. So kind of looking like that. Uh, it's now vertical. So I have mended my setup because a lot of people are giving me bad feedback on it. Uh, and uh, Meister Grin Seppo subscribed with Twitch Prime. They've been subscribed for three months. Thank you very much, dude. I really appreciate that. Uh, one of our mods showing his support for the channel. I'll put that in the right way. No, there we go. Okay. Okay. 
Why won't you go in? There we go. Oops. <clears throat> and uh, Tyler Durden's here as well with Build Hype. Thank you very much, dude. And thank you for your help yesterday. I really appreciated your support. Um, for those that don't know, uh, Tyler is an artist and designer with CYO Caps. Um, and he's also excellent at graphic design and a number of other things as well. And he was a massive help to me with some uh, other stuff, non top clack related stuff earlier on. Uh, will we be voting on keycaps or have you already made a captain's call on that? There will be some keycap options to vote on, um, such as uh, do you want me to use. Oh, I've trimmed far too many bits here. Uh, do you want me to use um, accent keys and things like that? But uh, Modern Dolce is going on this board and the GMK Chocolatier uh, is going on the other board. The Satisfaction 75. So there we go. Uh, yeah, man, of course, really excited to see what you do with everything. Thank you. Thank you. I'm hoping that that endeavour will be fruitful uh, soon. <laughs> There'll be some announcement when that's ready to uh, to be discussed in public, I think. Okay, I'm struggling to get this in. There we go. Okay, that's all three of my stabilizers uh, put together. And I'm gonna crack on with lubing them. Okay, interesting. Talisman Solutions says, based on that assessment, Regarding the J the Rama and the J01, can it be too long before I have tunable suspension systems such as variable air filled gaskets? The problem with the gasket is, and I, it's not really a gasket in keyboards. It's kind of a bit of a misnomer, but effectively you've got it, you know, sandwich, usually sandwiched between two layers. Effectively, you're either sandwiching it in between the plate and the PCB like the Rama one is, or what you're doing is, as part of your mounting system, you're having it between the PC, the plate, and the uh, um, and the actual case. So whether that's top and bottom, uh, like the uh, number two is, or whether it's just top, like the number one was, or whether it's just bottom, like the O-ring mount systems, like the MIMA, you know, there's multiple different ways of doing it. The problem with an air-filled one is it's all based on compression ratio. So the higher the compression ratio, the less flex you have in the board. The J1's quite high in terms of compression ratio, and a, the O-ring one's quite low. So for example, in the MIMA, it's quite low, or the GSKT, which means you get a lot of flex in the middle of the board. If you had tunable ones, the problem with it would be that you would have to, so if you had, for example, an air-filled bladder and you uh, raised or lowered the pressure in that bladder, then you would have to change how tightly you'd fasten the board together to get it to support it. So it would probably have to have, you know, really tight tolerances on the machining on the inside. Uh, there'd be some real interesting challenges to do it, but I'd love to see it done. I'd love to see it done. Uh, Miss Petra says, ooh, great choices. I don't know how Jay and Nathan Kim do stems without getting grease all over their hands. When I do stems, I look like I've killed a tube of lube. Uh, practice, and uh, I don't have any to hand, but I will be printing some more tonight. But for stems, I actually use um, 3D printed stem holders. Basically, a pair of tweezers and the reverse tweezers, so you, to put pressure on them, drops let's go rather than than snipping. So you, they, they basically have a cruciform on the end that you put the uh, the um, switch stem in, um, and you hold onto the cruciform and you can paint it, and then you let go by adding tension to the pliers and they open up. I don't have any to hand to show you, but yeah. Okay, so now we've got some lube ready. We've got a brush ready. We've got everything clipped. We're going to just quickly lube these up. Again, you've all seen this method before, so I'm not going to cover what I'm doing in detail. I'm just going to try and go as quickly as possible and try and get onto the main build, which is the Satisfaction 75. Okay. Try and keep an eye on chat whilst I'm doing this, but again, I'm trying to be accurate and fast rather than talk you through every step of the way what I'm doing. But as you can see, I'm basically just in cracking on and getting lube done mode. Okay. Um, people don't build keyboards in airtight containers. Uh, why would they have to be in airtight containers? Um, I'm not sure I follow your point, Meow. Yeah. 
Um, I'm happy to, uh, if you can explain, I can, I'm happy to have a look at it. Um, we've got uh, Zui is in as well. Is any of you use a switch open that's 3D printed, or is it, uh, or is the metal version worth it more? I use a mixture of both. I, in fact, I can show you. Okay, so I have a raft of ones that I've 3D printed. These are basic switch openers. Um, this is clear filament. I have a black one, that's probably easier. No, but th th this is clear filament um, uh, switch openers. They're just the standard ones off Thingiverse. Um, I just print those. And then if they break, I print another one, and I've got quite a selection of them. But at the same time, I've also got one of the uh, uh, nut things as well, um, which I find really, really useful. There we go, that opens the next switches as well. Uh, Soran's here as well. Good evening, Soran. Good to see you. Let's carry on with this lubing job. Okay. Is going nuts with notifications. I do apologise, guys. Um, Met Advice Guy says he sold his Nutcracker because he preferred the 3D printed one. That's fair. Um, I really like the Nutcracker. I think it's good. Um, I think it's much more useful than the 3D printed ones, but the 3D printed ones are disposable and they cost pennies to produce. So, um, yeah. Okay. If anyone is. Oh, no wonder that one didn't work. I've not got it clipped in properly. If anyone is interested in some of those um, stem tweezers that I mentioned earlier on, I will be printing some off tonight for some other people. So if anyone does want one, I'll have five sets, uh, three of which are free and not spoken for. If anyone does want one, you can PM me and I'll send it to you free of charge. Um, and if you want an MX switch opener as well, I've got some spare that I can send you too. Just drop me a note in... Uh, the Discord with your address, and I'll get those sent out next couple of days. Okay, and then we're just going to do the space bar, and then we are done. We can start to get this build propagating. Okay. Again, what's going on with these stabs? Either this is just me trying to rush. There we go. Or I was just not paying attention whilst I was doing it before. There we go. Okay. Almost there now, guys. And then we'll get these in the board, and then we can get the switches in. Then we can do our first lot of soldering, and then we can get on to the meat of tonight's conversation, the uh, Satisfaction 75 build. There we go. side of this one to do. And there we go, we are done with the lube for the stabilizers. <coughs> uh, what's your thoughts on the Ergo Travel Split Keyboards? Uh, good keyboards if you like that kind of thing. Um, they're not something I personally would choose, but that's just my preference. Um, if you like them, they're good quality, um, they're easy to build, they're a good little project, um, I'd recommend them. seven new space bar one in here so I'm just going to make sure I've got this in the right spot That's these holes just here okay and we're going to check everything that lines up nice and neatly here and there we go you can see that that fits nicely we're just going to screw these in from the other side these are screwing stabilizers. Whoops. And 
turns out I've got the wrong screwdriver bit. We've got a tri bit instead of a uh, cross bit. Phillips or posi drive, whatever you want to call them these days. Okay, so I'm just going to screw these down. Uh, again, you don't want these too tight. All you want to do is just take them so it's flush with the PCB, um, not overly tight. You're not trying to crush the PCB. All you're trying to do is attach the stabilizer to the plate firmly. Again, on the ISO enter, nothing that crosses over there. So we don't need to worry about any uh, shorting out. Uh, again, on this backspace, there is only one pad that we're touching, so there shouldn't be any shorting out here either. Okay. Now we're going to do the space bar. Last screw for the last stabilizer just here. And there we go, guys. That's the stabilizers done. We're now ready to start putting some switches in this. So it only took me 43 minutes to get to this stage, but we're there. Um, any Holy Panda mass drop news lately? Uh, no, they're due in May, so we've got plenty of time yet. Another four weeks, so. Disposable, I've opened one, I've one that opened at least a thousand without any signs of wear. Yeah, but I'd lose them, I'd drop them, I'd crack them, I'd leave them places that I shouldn't do. The dog chews them, you know. They're, they're disposable, they don't really matter. Um, don't the uh, 3D printed uh, switch openers. <clears throat> Yok uh, makes me want to sell the Master Pandas and get some nice colours instead. Yeah, I built with Yok Red, the other build for J1, it with the Yok Reds. Um, and I have some mints on the way. Quite excited to try those. Uh, this is the space bar switch uh, in a separate bag, so we'll get to that. So these face switches are PCB mount. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. They are PCB mount. You should be able to see that. So we're going to put these into the plate first, and we're going to see how how easily these press into the PCB. If there's an issue with them, we will look at that separately. Maybe a case of pop them into the plate and then pop them into the PCB. But that's all fitting nicely. I think we should be okay on this particular build. One thing I would like to say about Martin's design here as well is that the, the ISO key retains the same orientation as all of the rest of the switches. That's really, really nice as an ISO user. Um, it's not always the case. Flush. Um, we've already bent a pin. You can see here, guys, we've just bent that pin and flattened it. So we're just going to prise that back up and go again. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to put a couple in the middle and then we'll put a couple in the corners. Very, very flexible plates here. Uh, hang on. Some of these switches, the housings haven't gone back together properly. I'm going to try and get this to clip into the plate first and then push it into the PCB, just like so. Do another one just here. some up in this top corner and then some down on the bottom row and then we should be comfortable again some of these switches just not quite clipping back together after they've been opened it's always worthwhile checking out for that if you've got one that won't go into the plate or the PCB there we go and then I'm just going to pop one down here And one over at this side as well. There we go. 
Now we should be able to just start pushing these in and we shouldn't have any issues with them. Just making sure that these are clipped together nicely. Okay. Um, the ice is nice. It says, do you use washers for your screen stabs? Only where they short things out. I prefer to not use them unless I have to. Um, if I can get away with not using them, I will. So only if I'm having shorting problems will I then undo the screw and reapply. Um, which is usually my method of dealing with them. <coughs> um, my secret tip says I would try the Mass Drop Holly Panda first. Gator on Blues versus Cherry MX Blues. Oh, neither. Both are a poor switch. I would tend to use something like a, a Kale Bronze if I wanted a clicky, or a Box Navy if I wanted super loud. Um, OG Pandas have ever, are ever so slightly different from Yorks. They are a little bit, yeah, they are a little bit. Uh, Ice is nice, no, I said don't use washers unless I have to. Uh, Gap Blue says uh, Zui, yeah, uh, it's a fair option. Um, personally, I prefer a different, unless I was stuck with those two, and then I would go for the Gats. Uh, Mint Pandas are extremely heavily lubed. Um, the only way to really get rid of lube on switches is to use um, uh, some, uh, sorry, use a an ultrasonic cleaner with some ultrasonic cleaning fluid. But it depends on what they've been lubed with. A lot of lubes are designed to resist um, solvents to strip them out. So sometimes it can be a little bit hit and miss. Uh, Jay Irwin says, "Is there a non-compressed seventy-five percent hot swap board?" Um, Hot swap keyboard. Uh, there isn't. Yeah, you're right, boy. There isn't even a hot swap 75% at the minute. No. Um, maybe soon though. It wouldn't surprise me if KBD fans did a, a hot swap board for the KBD 67 soon. I don't have any insider knowledge, but it would surprise me if that wasn't in the works, given the popularity of them. <clears throat> uh, building brutal first. Yes, this is the brutal uh, time lord Alonzi. Uh, Alonzi Alonzo, yep, <laughs> I get the reference. Uh, this is a Brutal 61st with what I'm calling my Brutal Phase. Uh, these are 180 gram sprit spring switches being lubed with Crytox 205 grade 0 on the housing and stem, and Crytox uh, 206, sorry, 106 on the, uh, uh, on the springs. I'm just going to go through putting these in place. Brutal switches, yes. Um, <clears throat> uh, I think I just said whether the lube does stock as we, so I think we're good on that one. Um, Goober types the KBD fans T ones are also heavily. Maybe the factories uh, are trying to are trying out factory lube. Um, I didn't find the 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 T ones I've got Goober um, to be particularly heavy lube, and I've got both the clear and the smoky from the prototype run, not from the new run. Um, so I don't know if the latest run of smokies is what you're referring to. Um, but yeah, iso alcohol, isopropyl. Yeah, you can do that, but it, it, it's it. Crytox is designed to resist isopropyl and other solvents like it, so it, it won't really help that much. It'll just smear it around more, which may help if you can get the thick of it off with a cloth or a, a brush. You can kind of scrape it out. Uh, I'm in Panda stock lubed. I don't believe they are. Um, <laughs> uh, Rope says he wants to make a board with uh, switches that are so heavy they don't even actuate if you sit on it. Um, you should try out my uh, Alps build, which has got APC greens in it, which are 480 gram actuation, 580 gram bottom out. Um, they are ridiculous and they're un un unusable. They're supposed to be clickies, but only one in every three presses clicks, um, so they're a bit useless that way. Making some good progress now. Um, <clears throat> Mint pandas come lube but are awful factory lube. I, I don't. I, I don't think my um, red pandas did come factory lubed. Um, I may be misremembering because it's a while since I used them, but I don't remember them being factory lubed. Uh, Walker's been saying it as well. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. 
Um, over a um, bottom out pog, yeah. Um, where are in they enjoy P2P stabs on KB fans? They're not there anymore. I don't know why, but I noticed they weren't there the other day. I suspect they've just run out of stock. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, okay, so Red Yorks weren't factory loot, but the, the mint ones are fair. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I have yet to get my mint ones. They're in the post, they're on the way. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to have some thoughts on them. And whether there's any difference to the uh, original Red Yorks later on this week or next week. Although it's worth noting there's no bull stream next week, guys, because I am at the meetup next Saturday. Um, and it's Easter Sunday, so I'll be spending some time with the family rather than streaming next week. Um, but I will be on Top Clock on Thursday, so you have that to look forward to. Uh, enjoy PBT's stabs are Zeal stab clones, correct? Yes, they are. Um, now, there's a little bit of consternation as to whether they're using copies of uh, Zeal's moulds or whether they're using actual Zeal's moulds. Um, I don't think that's ever been fully confirmed either way. Um, but yes, they are clones of the Zeal stabilisers. Uh, if I didn't really enjoy lube mod M's, do you think that Zelio is worth investment to try for tactiles? Absolutely. Zelio V2s are so different to anything else on the market right now. Um, T1s come close, but they're not quite as good. Uh, they're not as smooth, they're not as tactile, uh, and they don't have that um, same experience with them, but uh, they're close. Um, so I would try both of them, if I'm honest, uh, and see what you think. But uh, Zelio V2s are definitely worth while trying out. And if you do buy from Zeal, uh, don't forget you can use the TopClack affiliate code by going to zealpc.net forward slash TopClack. Uh, that gives TopClack a little bit of a kickback and supports the show uh, as well as uh, supporting Zeal. So if you do want to do that, uh, please feel free. Um, I suspect they're using Zeal molds without permission. He, yeah, Zeal told me, um, oh, I did put a normal switch in the space by you. Right, thank you, Glove. Um, well spotted, well spotted. Gloves on the ball today, I'm not. I'm too excited to get to the Satisfaction 75 build. Um, Zeal told me uh, that it was clones of his moulds, but I don't know if he's ever confirmed that or not. Um, I, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but that's what he told me at the time I asked him, which is probably eight months ago now. Okay. My thumbs are going to be sore again today, especially after the next build, given the fact that it's uh, pandas again. Just double checking that all of these are correct. Okay, looking good, okay. Uh, love the new camera setup. Now you just need a pedal to zoom in or just go with A to B foot switch so you can quickly return to its elevated position. Uh, <laughs> so one of the things that I am wanting to do is, um, is so this is on a temporary mount, but um, I'm actually going to be putting the lighting mounts into the ceiling rather than being on axle sensor. You can see here there's a, an A stand here for, uh, or a tripod here for one of the lights. There's one at the other side as well, but they're going to be going up on the ceiling on a rack and then there's going to be a vertical pole that comes down that I could adjust left and right, uh, backwards and forwards. Uh, so it'll basically move all over this area here and our camera will be sat on the bottom of it pretty much in the same position as this one and that camera should have options where i can uh, zoom automatically or just twist the knob and zoom in and things like that uh, this one doesn't it has auto focus which is terrible um, and half the time it doesn't focus on what i want it to so i won't turn that on uh, and we've got pona as well in the chat he's posting links why do i want to click on that what makes me want to click on that? Uh, lots of misconception going around, but EBT is not a DBA for Gatoron. 
and the stamps are not the same. Um, okay, um, if that's what Zeal says, then fair enough. Um, I mean, I've had both hand on hand and even the sprue marks are in identical locations, so it suggests that they're very similar, if not identical. Um, so either way, uh, only Zeal knows the truth. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for sharing that uh, poner. Uh, also, want you to have a foot pedal so you can zoom in on your face when I make stupid comments. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe, um, maybe I should get a foot pedal just for that. Um, if someone knows of a good foot pedal, uh, a foot pedal uh, with four options on it, then I will definitely pick one up. Okay. Last switch, and then the space bar to go. I'm just gonna move these to one side. They can go over there. And then the 210 gram space bar switch. There we go. There you go, guys. You can see that's all ready to go. As you say, the cannons are nice and cute. You can see the blue through them, which looks really nice, actually, I think. Um, flipping it over, um, everything's showing through nicely. I'm just going to check to see if there's any bent pins. I can spy one already. Going to go through these all with a fine tooth comb in a second. Just making sure everything is as tight as I can get it. The, uh, that's all looking really nice. Right, let's tackle these switches with some bent pins should be a really quick job uh, let me just check I've got this one here I'm just going to take all the ones with bent pins out and then we'll come back and pop them back in afterwards there we go just here at the middle row now just making sure that there's two prongs on each switch come through sometimes the pins just bend a little bit it's dead easy to fix but always worthwhile checking okay I think it's just those two just going to straighten that pin out and then pop the switch back in. Instantly bent over again. Maybe we'll change that switch. I think the pin on that one's just a little bit too bent and worn. There we go, that one's looking good. I'll fix this one. And there we go. Just making sure everything's nice and firm and neat. There we go. So as you can see now, guys, everything is nice, neat, and flush with the plate all the way around. No gaps, no issues. Everything's looking nice and neat and tidy. So now we're ready to solder. I'll grab my soldering iron. Warm up, just grab my solder itself. Okay, let's catch up on chat uh, just so you can see what's going on. Oh, this is warming up. Um, those cannons are so cute, yeah. Uh, you can use the goose kit like uh, Nathan Kim. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of the gasket, so the GSKC. So I've, I've, I've tried Chris Wise, I don't like the type and feel. That's partly why I developed the J01, because it's just how I wanted to do implement gaskets. Um, and for me, this is a far better board, so that's why I did it. Um, what else have we been talking Where'd you get that nice switch popper? Uh, it's just an IC extractor. You can find them on Amazon or eBay or anything like that. Uh, Tuxkey says hi. Uh, everyone, greetings from Netherlands. Hello, good to see you. 
and as Apocalypse subscribed at tier one for five months on the trot. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you. Just in time for the solder action. Yes. Um, a time for a sip of the beverage. Yeah. Just finish this coffee before it goes cold. Oh, he meant as a foot pedal. Nathan Kim uses the gasket as a foot pedal. Right. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Um, and the main Jermaine subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, dude. Okay, yeah, that's the coffee done. It's too cold. I can't drink the rest of it. Ugh, get the coke ready. Okay. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're just going to solder this board. We're going to tack a couple of switches in the middle. We're going to tack a couple of switches in the corners. And then once we've done that, we'll move through the rows and we'll try and go as quickly as we can. So that's two switches in the middle. Nicely soldered. We're just going to come up to this corner, do one up here. Come down to this corner, do one in the bottom. Okay, come over here. There we go. And then up to the top corner, backspace key. There we go. Okay, what we're going to do now is just run through row by row, making sure we solder all of these switches in place. Try and be as smooth and steady and fast as I can. Um, and the faster I can do this board, the faster we can get on to the Satisfaction 75. But I'm really excited to try this out, given the fact that it's a uh, burger mount type board. So I'm dead excited to uh, try this out. I've not had a board that's designed for burger mount in a burger mount configuration before. I have done it, but I've uh, modded other boards to to have that feel rather than having one as standard which also reminds me actually talking about uh, soldering anarchy if you're still there I know Zondat was looking for a uh, PCB to be hand soldered component wise I don't know if he's reached out to you but if he hasn't uh, it might be worthwhile reaching out to him I don't know if he got that sorted or not that's that row done. Move on to the second row. Try and be as, as I say, as smooth and as fast as I can. These plain 60Cs from Martin are really well designed. The pads are just large enough to grab hold of the solder almost instantly, so um, they're not one of the difficult PCBs to solder you can sometimes get. Burger mount, <laughs> phone at DN mount. Yep, um, just don't even bother mount. Um, I did it to Zondat's Noxry two six eight. Um, I tried it on that, and uh, the case didn't screw together properly because the tolerances are too tight. But it, it kind of gave me a broad feel for it. been a good option to add a diffuser to the 268 at that point and then uh, run a um, uh, run some underglow LEDs on there for the uh, the breakout section of the PCB that's what I should have done because then he would have hated it given the fact that he's borrowing the board off me to take to the UK meetup next week okay okay so we're about halfway through the board now Just over in terms of the number of switches, so we're not making too bad progress. And as I said before, guys, um, mykeyboard.eu have unofficially sponsored this build uh, by sending me some switches uh, and some lubes. So do go check their site out because I do want to support them. They are great guys, uh, Neckerman and. Uh, Neck or a woman or Yulia and David depending on how you want to refer to them uh, They are really good people. So do check out their site Oh missed that one that does need uh, a bent pin fixing on that switch there missed it earlier That one too. How did I miss two? How did I miss two? 
thing is, we've caught them now. Ah, uh, Mr. Yankar, this is uh, Mr. Hyper 7 Man that's come back to me, uh, claiming that he's got the files off of yourself and he's had a blue PCB made. I don't know if you've sold him it rather than him saying he's created it. almost through the board now just got a few more switches to do so this is just on the bottom row now uh, so there's a lot fewer switches on here because of the space bar which we're just about to do now okay and then we'll go back and fix those other two switches That's the board soldered. We do have two switches to replace that. Um, one is here, and the other one is here. We'll just quickly remedy these. Again, we've been putting them through. No, nope, all good. So we'll just finish these off, and then this board is ready for testing. Okay, last switch, and there we go. I'm just going to move that to there. In fact, I'm going to unplug that because we shouldn't need it for a little while, and I'm going to move it completely out of the way. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> let's catch up with uh, with chat. Uh, Updog mount is better, yeah, or D's mount is better. Um, <laughs> what's up, that? Yeah, you fell for it. Uh, Greg D, uh, Grog DX said, I just finished my DD Miller last night. These pads were a pain to solder. Um, yeah, these ones are quite easy. Um, my keyboard, big heart for my keyboard, yeah. Uh, Necro one as well. Uh, new Rama U80E is going to be gasket mount. Yeah, it looks good actually. It's in, it's a uh, little bit a little bit different to, to normal gaskets, but yes, good to see more innovation. Uh, Necro couple is the best. Yeah, they're really good guys. Really good. Uh, great guy indeed. Got a couple of lubes and springs a few weeks ago. Yeah. Um, um, well, if you asked me to sell him one, I did. I didn't ask you to sell him one, did I? No, I didn't. I didn't ask you to sell him one. one. If you if you just sell one, that's fine. Um, did someone say Hyper 7? Yeah, you've not shown me yours, Evil Genius. Is yours going to be at the meetup? Just say yes or no, because if it is, then I'm really excited to see it. Uh, really, the community active EU store that also does group buys. Yes, uh, absolutely is. I'm EU. I rely on my keyboard a lot. Um, so there we go. Does my keyboard ship to the US? Uh, I think they'll ship everywhere. Yeah. Uh, can't wait for the test. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're going to test the PCB now first. Um, don't worry, wouldn't Belgium has a good I will ship to US if you need, just write as a mail. There we go. So I didn't. Okay. Did you or did you not sell him a PCB, Jan? That's all I want to know. Yes, I only finished the case yesterday. I'm excited to see it because I'm not taking my Hyper 7, so uh, um, I'm excited to see yours. Okay, so let's get up the switch hitter. Um, there we go. So you should be able to see that now, guys, on screen. I'm just going to move it over to my other screen. Um, let's go through the keys and see what works. God, these are heavy. Okay, everything working there. Tabs not. We'll have a look at that in a second. Caps lock is. Okay. All looking good on that row. All looking good on that row. That should be FN. Oh, no, it's coming up, up, but we can change that to FN later. At least you know the switch works. Oh, gosh, that's heavy. Uh, win, menu, and control. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'll change that to FN later, but all the keys are working apart from that one. Let's have a quick look and see why. Oh, it looks like the diode's missing a little bit of solder. 
So we're just going to reflow the switch and then we're just going to add a tiny, tiny touch of solar to the diode. Um, when this decides to heat up. Check your Discord. I can't see Discord at the minute, dude. I'm sorry. Um, I can't imagine using 100 gram springs like the ground 210. They're super heavy. It really hurting my fingers just testing it then. Um, I got my springs from mykeyboard.eu. I got a new keyboard, but I did not trust the consistency, so I wanted a few from mykeyboard.eu. Yeah. What about tab? Um, yeah, this, that's what I'm fixing. Tab. That's the, the switch that I'm fixing. Go. I think it's the diode though if I'm honest, so I'm just going to try and put a little bit of solder on both sides of this. There we go. Let's give that a try. See if that fixes it. Okay. There we go. All fixed. All working. That looks good. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's time to put the uh, the plate in the case now. Uh, decides to heat up. Said, haha, direct heating iron tech is way faster than the older Hacko. Yeah, um, I have got a Hacko one, but I much prefer the new ones. That it heats up super quickly. Um, it's really, really good. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take some of the... Uh, little rubber bits whoops these o-rings are in here and they're tiny tiny little things oh, my wife's coming in the room oh thanks babe she just brought me another drink up bless her no but i bought you the drink that you left down there oh you bought me the drink i left down there. oh there we go <laughs> apparently i left one earlier okay i think that's all of them out of the packet let's make sure we've got them all here Ooh. Dangerous moving that. There we go. So what we're gonna do is just pop all of these in place like so. Okay, come on. Man, these are so tiny, I should probably get a pair of tweezers for these. This will make it a little bit easier to move them around. He says. There we go. Okay, one more. Okay, they all should be roughly in the right place. I shouldn't have any issues with them. What I'm going to do now is carefully lay the plate on top. Pin those in place. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to put the, uh, these on the, the screws for these. So rather than lay them on the top of the PCB, what I'm going to do is just put them on the screw. And then I'm going to put the screw into position and then we'll tighten them up afterwards. Uh, grab my Allen key. Where's that gone? There it is. is going to be rather fiddly, I think. There we go. Once we've got two in, though, it'll pin the rest of them in. Okay, that's one in. Not too tight. I'm going to get the second one. I'm going to come over to this bottom corner this time. Ok, 
Okay. Again, we're not going to go too tight, we're just going to go finger tight on this. Come back over here, just tighten this up a little bit. Okay, now we can put the rest of them in, and that's going to be a little bit easier to get them in. Okay, uh, you press the user's tweezers for this part. Um, it's burger mount. Um, there's no ring on your palm. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, so well spotted. Okay, almost done with these now though. There we go. <laughs> we'll get there, guys. A whole nother build still to come yet, so I hope you guys are in for the long run, the long haul. Okay. Two more to go, and then we're done. We can put the case together, and then we'll do a little bit of a typing test to see how it sounds about anything in the case. Until the 75 goes live, yep, um, it's going to be a good board. Uh, Sarika and Holly Pandas, nice. I'm building the Holly Pandas today, so I'm excited for that as well. We'll be building it shortly. Um, what colour case? Thinking white. The, the one I have is white, so you'll be able to see what that looks like. Um, Kuroshira for it as well. Nice. That'd be good. That's a great key set. I'm really tempted to go for the uh, the Kuroshiro with Japanese uh, mods. Has anyone ever placed plate mounted stabs with desoldering a complete board? I need to replace my Tadar 68 stabs. Uh, you're not going to be able to replace them without desoldering, I don't think. You're probably going to have to do that. Um, that's just one of those things. Okay, so everything's now in place. Everything's looking nice and neat. All of my O rings are in place. You can just see them peeking out just there. Um, but they're all in place. I'm going to turn this over. I'll line up the rest of the case. And then I'm going to pop the first screw in here. This is going to take a few minutes as well, guys, because there's so many uh, screws on this board. Oh, let me get rid of uh, switch hitter as well. It's still on screen. There we go. Uh, Trace Space says, how fast would you say uh, do GMK sets shine? Different for everyone. Um, 10 M2 screws, it's safe. Uh, it's overkill. I've got three M3 on the bottom and the top of the J01. Um, and then two additional ones on there and on here. So you've got more on a smaller board, or just the same number as, as I have on a smaller board. Okay. As always, guys, we're going diametrically opposed, or uh, if uh, if you're still watching, um, Talisman will give you some alternatives to diametrically opposed. Yeah, GMK sets um, shine. No, the letters don't peel off, uh, Jerwin. Basically, the uh, the what happens is the um, the ABS plastic that made off shines a little bit. This set's starting to go a little bit shiny, and it's probably had maybe 200 hours of use. Um, it, it's just one of the things that happen with finger grease over time and stuff like that. So, it's to be expected. Um, it's not something you can avoid with ABS plastics, to be honest. Artisan knobs to be a thing. Yeah, my knob's lovely. Look look how nice my knob is. Look at that knob. Beautiful. OK. 
Okay. Centra Helix something or other. If only we can achieve uniform China on GMK sets. What you could do if you were if you wanted to bother um, sending them manually, you could uh, get a buffing machine and do that. Keycaps were aware given the friction experience from typing from your fingers. Yeah. Diametrically opposed is counter diagonally, rotational counter opposing, cross corresponding non sequential, counter crosswise. There you go. Uh, as we said, it looks uh, it would look amazing, super bright. Uh, <laughs> love a good knob. We all know you love my knob. Glue. <laughs> so many good jokes in there. Okay, we're now in 22 minutes in, and we've still not even got this board finished. I wonder if we'll offer different coloured knobs. Yeah. When will Dixie's Bow go live? Hopefully soon. I'm hoping that Brian gets a hold of a prototype to build, because uh, I really want to see that. This one's taking forever to go in. Has anyone watched Walker's Keyboard Science Channel? Uh, do I need to film switch on every T1 switch I have? You don't have to, but if you're gonna if you're gonna do one, you have to do them all. That's the thing. But you don't have to um, put them on there. Um, his findings are, you know, nice and it sounds good like that, but uh, it's entirely up to you if you want to do it or not. It's uh, it's a lot of work and a lot of effort, so it's entirely at your personal discretion. Uh, did you see the IC about the carrot wing keyless? And if yes, what were your thoughts about it? Uh, I did see that. Um, if I remember the rightly, it's the same guy that's doing the uncertainty sixty with way. Uh, it looks all right. Um, I don't think it looks terrible. Um, uh, I'll be interested to see the group buy when it comes live. Um, we'll, I think we covered it on the show a couple of weeks ago. Um, go back and have a check there for some more in-depth thoughts when I was looking at it. The good thing is we're seeing lots and lots more ICs these days. And the more ICs we see, that means the better the community is doing, especially if things are achieving you know, uh, group buy success. Um, so I'm all for growth in the community. Okay, these screws are taking forever, but we're almost there. There we go. So that's that done. That's the board ready for some keycaps. Now this is where you guys come in. Um, you can pick for me what uh, keycaps we're going to put on here. So we are going to be using UK ISO because it is ISO layout, but you can pick if we use accent keys or not, accent keys for the escape or not, and then you can pick whether we use um, icon mods. Sorry, these aren't showing up because of the light. Icon mods or uh, text mods, which are the ones that come with the base kit. So pick guys now. Um, you faster with a soldering iron. Um, yeah, I'm fairly fast with a soldering iron now. Uh, all the accents, uh, artisans as escape keys, accents. Now there is the choice of an artisan as an escape key. We have uh, the modern Dolch Kipora. So uh, vote now, guys. Vote now. Oh, has Mr. Green Tepper put a straw poll up? That's, that's really quick if he has. Let me get that up. Let me get that up. Um, okay, I've voted for what my preference is. You guys go and vote as well. And we'll do the alphas first, then we'll come back to uh, that. Uh, also need to tell me if you want to see... <laughs> it's going nuts. It's going nuts. You also need to tell me if you want to see coloured accents or not, so if we can get another one up for that. Five, that key's there. Sorry, that one wasn't in the box. We'll just pop that on. Okay. Now we're going to go one and then straight to four, and the reason for that is because two and three are in here because we've got UK ISO. I'm just going to keep on putting the alphas on while you guys decide what the options should be. Don't like the window sign. Is the Bauer 65 designed by Ryan Norbauer? Uh, no, it's not. It's designed by uh, Dixie from Dixie Mac. Uh, it's named after. Jack Bauer off of the TV show, uh, 24. Alchemist KB says, I think if it was, he'd want you to know it was by him. Uh, yeah, he would, yeah. Okay, guys. Um, you need to tell me pretty quickly what we're going to do in terms of uh, mod perspective. Uh, icon mods are winning at the minute. 13 votes to 10. It's 
pretty close though, guys. You've got another minute. <clears throat> and you also need to tell me with the accents or no accents as well, guys. So... Um, don't worry, you pass. I was going to talk about the uh, the Brutal 60. You, we'll, we'll get there. We'll talk about this. There is four boards left if anyone's looking to buy them. Just four boards left in the group buy. Um, but as you can see, it looks fantastic. Blue accents and icons. Let's go. Okay, boop. Um, I think we'll follow that rule of thumb. Our oh, talisman says the pinkish accent. All right, okay. Straw, straw poll again, Mr. Grinseppo. Uh, Meister Grinseppo, sorry. Uh, I want you to do something for me, so I'm going to call you Meister. Um, can we have one that says pink or uh, uh, pink or teal? And um, we'll see where we get to. Uh, we have gone with stepped caps lock, so. There we go. There we go. Second straw poll up, guys. Let me get that loaded. <clears throat> Force Storm. <laughs> Force Mono Red. Draft whatever's good. Okay, I'm going to vote myself. There we go. Let's let's see what, what we get to on here. Uh, back down to the UK ISO keys. Oops. Okay. Looks like the teal is winning significantly. 50% uh, of the votes. So looks like that's what we're going to do. I'll go and change that ISO enter in a second. And then we'll follow whether you guys wanted uh, text mods or icons. Icon mods wins, so let's uh, move that to one side once we've got the space bar. In. And let's just quickly uh, remove this enter key cap. For the escape key, we'll go with uh, the icon mods because that seems to be winning. So there we go. Oh gosh, you can see the flex there, guys. Look at that. Can you see the flex? Okay. Don't need those keys anymore. I don't think we need anything else out of there either, apart from shifts. Go shift and shift and FN. There we go. Okay, now we're going to go for the. Uh, if we can open this up. there now guys one cap and two cap draft or daft <laughs> you got it talisman you got it okay so uh blue accents icons let's go uh boop you were correct that's what we ended up going with so let's have a look and see what you guys think of the board with those on no kipora sadly so that can go away there we go so there we go guys, what do you think? This is the Brutal 60 with GMK Modern Dolch, 180 gram springs. We're gonna do a sound test in a second where I find the remote to move the TV. Where have I put that? There it is. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, 180 gram uh, springs in the face switches and 210 grams on space. Uh, the Sangan bottom row layout, uh, ISO enter, uh, full UK ISO layout. What do you think, guys? How do you think that looks? How do you think that looks? It's a nice rectangle. It's a handsome board. It's a good looking board, isn't it? The key set works really well with it. Good choice on the, uh, on the accents as well, guys. I think that works really, really well. Let's give it a bit of a sound test and see what we're working with here. So this one is rubbing on something. Okay, let's give it a try typing on it. Gosh, this is hard. Gosh, that's really difficult to type on, guys. I made a ton of mistakes there because I'm not pressing the keys and I'm missing them. Man, that is tough. Um, that is really brutally difficult to type on. So it really fits the meaning of the board. The board doesn't look brutal in terms of, uh, until you look at the side profile. Uh, from top down, it looks really pretty. But Jesus, that is difficult to type on. Um, oh, that's better. It was just not quite in the stab properly. Maybe it does need a little bit of work. The switch is that heavy that it, it's scraping in the, on, inside the switch. But wow. Uh, I hope you guys liked that one. <laughs> Let's just catch up um, with what chat's been saying. 2 by the 75 won't run in PC, so it looks really nice on PC boards. It does, yes. It's a handsome board, yep. Yeah, it's a nice rectangle. Pretty damn nice J speed build. Uh, yeah, an hour and 30 minutes, not too bad. Got another build to go yet, though, guys. Uh, super clean looking board. It does look great. Um, very clean. That blue came out really nicely. It did. Pretty good. It sounds all right. Um, uh, super heavy sounding springs. They are really heavy. They're 180 grams and 210 grams on the space bar. The reason they're so heavy is because of the brutal switches for the brutal 60, which is the name of this board. Um, so that that was the idea behind those. Now <laughs> we know those fingers got so chunky. Yeah, fat fingers. Uh, type, these are really heavy, even for me. Uh, it sounds as good as it looks. Good job. I think I'm going to try and experiment with some some dampening inside the case. I'm probably going to have a look at this space bar. I don't want to spend too much time on it because I want to move on to the uh, onto the satisfaction. But I'm not quite so happy with the space bar. But I don't think the board. I don't think the board needs any dampening inside. I think it's fine as it is. So I think that's fine. Um, FR4 plate, which feels really nice, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm really happy with the FR4. That, that, that feels really nice. There's a lot of flex to the board. I know it's difficult to show flex on here, but uh, if I if I just push one key down, you can't really see it. But there, there is a lot of flex in the board, um, especially if I press here. You should be able to see this, uh, this, this change here. You can probably see the enter key underneath. If I press the enter key, actually, you'll be able to see backspace move. So you can kind of see that movement in there that's within the board. Uh, and you kind of get a similar movement here as well, but it's much more difficult to see. But it is there, I promise. <laughs> I realise it's called Brutal, but wow. Yep, yeah, uh, got a slam on the space. Man, it's so hard to type on, guys. Um, totally missed the ping, damn it. Oh, you, you've got another build to watch, that's fine. I thought Box Navies were heavy. Um, so yeah. I think it needs an arrow cluster and anti layout. Fair enough. Emphasis on the brutal name. It's brutal to type on. Uh, yeah. Your typing technique may be advantageous for these heavy springs. Yeah, it might be actually, um, but it's difficult to type on. Can we get a 360 degree look at the brutal? Yes, you can. Um, so what we're going to do is look at the top of the board. There you go. You can look at it. all of these angles. We'll have a flip over onto the back. You can see that the USB is designed for pretty much any USB option. 
onto the base, onto the front, onto the side profile, flip it over onto the other side. There we go, guys. That is the Brutal 60. We get some pictures up on this up on Instagram tomorrow, but I think the Satisfaction 75 might do better. Um, but yeah, let me just pop this to one side. And move this key set out of the way as well. Oh gosh, things are knocking over. I'm gonna have to put this key set away. Uh, as you can see, we've got the next key set ready as well for the next build. I'll get the music back on in a second, guys. I'm just going to pop this away properly so I don't spill keycaps all over the place. There we go. I do need to work out what board the uh, pink from Modern Dolch would work with, but uh, I don't have any ideas on that as yet. But we'll, we'll find something for those to go with eventually. There we go. That's all popped away. Okay, so now we are on to the second build of the evening, which is the wonderful, the one and only Satisfaction 75. There you go, guys. What do you think of that? Whew. Let's get the music back on. Sounds hollow, does it? The Brutal 60? No, it doesn't really sound hollow at all. It sounds fine. Um, I've had a lot more hollow sounding boards. Um, for the money, I think it's a great board. I think it was, I can't remember the price now, but it was really cheap. Uh, really impressed with it for the price. Do like the thicker bezels, but not too thick. As you can tell, I'm a, th I'm a fan of thicker bezels. So, um, yeah. I may have to keep an eye on aftermarket, as I'm pretty sure the missus wouldn't be best pleased with not eating for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, it's one of those things. The anticipation, the satisfaction, it is a Satisfaction 75. Um, first thing I'm going to do is put these feet on it in a second and then we'll go from there. Um, yeah, uh, Zui, uh, UPass is free to share any of the um, links he likes in chat. I'm just going to pop these feet on here first. I've already done them on the Brutal uh, prior to stream, but uh, I haven't had a chance to do them on this board. Just going to pop these into place and then we'll have a look at this board in a little bit more detail. So as I said before guys, the one thing I'm not allowed to show you is the weight. Now, the weight is in good condition. Um, it is a prototype, so there are some problems with this board and I'll talk through those and how UPass is going to fix them. Um, but uh, he swore me to secrecy on what the, the weight design is, so that's all taped up and you can't see that, I'm afraid. Complain at him, not complain at me. So in terms of the board, this is a carbon fibre plate. Um, I'm not sure if UPass is going to offer these in the group by itself, but he's kind of made one win fixed ISO layout for me. Um, so thank you very much for that, UPass. Uh, it does have the lovely little cannon up in the top corner here. I'm not sure if that's showing up or not, but that is a nice little logo up there. Um, we've also got the uh, the little uh, LED screen that's going to go in there, a rotary encoder, standard 75% layout apart from that, apart from it's, uh, it's got blockers in, which not all 75s do. If we look at the front edge, you can kind of see here there's kind of a thin bevel on the edge, which is really nice. Uh, Two-part case construction. The E-White does accentuate that gap because the paint wants to curve round and, uh, and cover it in. Um, there are some small issues with the anode, uh, well, the E-White covering on this, but I know that UPass is working with the manufacturer to make sure that those don't exist on any production boards if he offers this colour. Um, the main thing is that there's, it's not going to show up on camera, but around some of the edges, like around this rim here, there is, there is an extra lip of material, um, so stuff like that. Um, in terms of the actual board itself, you can see that it's a uh, two-piece construction. You can see that thin seam all the way across the board there. There are some marks on the paint that aren't going to show up on camera. It's just not going to be visible, um, but uh, again, it is a prototype. In terms of the base of the case, again, it's got this similar uh, design layout uh, in terms of the... Uh, um, the screw holes that we saw on the Brutal 60 and then it's got a nice chunky back weight that is sat in the back there so you can see it's about about seven or eight millimeters thick uh, and it does go down to this line that you can see here through there it does make it kind of top heavy when you pick the board up the board does want to rotate to the back um, but you kind of got these nice finger holes here to pick it up with anyway so as long as you pick it up with those 
you're nice and sturdy uh, and firm. So there we go. If we get the PCB, so here is the PCB. Now it's programmed this earlier on. I did have to uh, plug in the um, the LCD screen and the rotary encoder, so they're all in place now. Sounds good. Looks good. Um, so we will be building. Uh, on that basis uh, when we get into the board and start to take a look it's already done now it won't keep my clock timings or anything like that because of the battery I've ordered for this because it does need a battery to keep that powered that hasn't arrived so we're building this uh, from that perspective um, multiple different layout supports so you've got ANSI and your ISO so you can do both here you split left shift and right shift you split backspace or not uh, multiple options for the bottom row depending on what you want to do we've gone for the standard 6.25 view on this build uh, which is going to be really exciting exciting so let me know what you guys think uh, you can see the Canon keys full logo here uh, with a little Canon as well um, designed by you pass for Canon keys satisfaction 75 turning it over the Canon logo in the middle we've got the battery marker here there is a little switch here that has two positions zero and one which is used for programming the board um, so yeah let me know what you think guys the only other thing I want to call out is that the uh, there is some standoffs that you can put in place to hold the LCD away from the PCB and that just lifts it up so that it sits nice and flush in here so everything should fit from that perspective when we put it together, I'm hoping it does. Um, we'll make sure I've got that space just right before we solder it together and put it together. There we go, I'm just going to catch up on chat, see what you guys think. Um, lots of chat. <laughs> Uh, Tronix has got to go. Goodbye. I'm so sorry, Tronix, but I hope you catch up on the VOD and I shall see you later. Modern Dodge Box looks classy. Yeah, the Modern Dodge Box is really nice. Um, hype. Wow. Anarchy resub for fourth time. Thank you very much, Anarchy. Uh, I've just seen that. Um, I really want a Satisfaction 75. Yep, so did I. Uh, an embarrassment of riches, sign of the true concert. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, get the Kleenex ready. Uh, Netro Genesis at Sakun High. Oh, oh sorry, yeah, we come talk to someone else. I need two Kleenex and some extra undies. Uh, oof, big oof, yeah. Can't wait until this is in group by. Boop says the weight is pure masking tape. I promise it's not. Is it a good keyboard for Fortnite? Uh, everything is a good keyboard for Fortnite. Um, it's so nice. Perfect timing from 10 Strong. Yeah, I'm glad you're here, dude. Uh, still guessing the price will cost me more since Super said it's 400-ish non-white. Yeah, something like that. Eskimo Joe, glad that Satisfaction supports ISO now. Yes, it does. Um, is green the official PCB colour or is it will be black and white? Uh, we'll have to wait for Upas to respond on that one, I'm afraid. Uh, Thousand Mile Solutions, an instant classic for the greater than 60% crowd. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, thanks for the kind and words, guys. There you go, Upas. It's well deserved. The board is lovely. Uh, love it. Very pretty. Uh, PCB allowed support is there. The PCB will likely be blue. Uh, I love this view. Okay, great, perfect. So let's ca crack on with the build. The first thing we're going to do is take the board apart. Again, I wish I could show you under here, guys. I really do. Um, but I promise you guys I wouldn't share it, so I'm not. Um, let's just take these out of here. And this is the first time I've taken the board apart, so I've not seen inside the internals yet. Uh, oh, there'll be a little teaser photo at the end of the build for everyone. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm happy to see that. Um, <coughs> Soran says, good job to you pass again. Yeah. Um, you gave my money. <laughs> it looks great so far. It looks fantastic. Um, there is, as I said, there is some issues with the uh, the coating, but it, it's the same coating that's on the Jer Mini. And when I compare the quality of the two, there is some noticeable discrepancies. But Upas and I have had, I've talked about that. I've pointed out some of the flaws that I've seen that I don't see on the other board, and he's addressing those if he offers this color. <clears throat> Uh, Zui says you were wanting to make me spend all of my money. Yeah, I know the feeling, man. I know the feeling. Where it says, I am Jakey, some love child. <laughs> I wish it did. That'd be awesome if it did. But it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't say anything. Um, I'll be honest. Maybe that's more than I should have said, actually. It doesn't say anything. Well, it tells a story, though. It tells a story. Okay, almost there now. I'm just going to quickly take the last two 
the screws out. Last one. That's a good tease. All right, okay, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not too far away from it then. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna take this off now, um, and we're gonna have a look at the internals. This is the first time I've seen them. Uh, I haven't looked at this previously. Okay, so again, you can see marks here for the screws. This is for the heads to sit in of the screws that are gonna make it top mount. Um, there's a little cut out here. I assume, is that for the, um, the battery, so we saw the battery here, uh, the battery slot on the PCB just there. So that recess is to just make sure that's not bottoming out, I think. Um, there is a lot of dirt in here, it's just dust, guys. Um, so there we go, USB cutout port as well. Similar design as to the Brutal 60. So there we go, so that's the base of the board. Looking at the inside of the top, again, you can see that this is burger mount, so I'm, I'm sure you can see that these have got uh, little rubber grommets on them again. So we're gonna try and not lose all of those. Um, love the, uh, the <laughs> I've gotta be honest, carbon fiber is my favorite plate material right now. Uh, but you can see it's got the cutout here for the uh, the LCD, and that's the cutout there for the um, rotor encoder. So you can see these here, you go. So effectively what we're gonna do is, Pop that in there like so, and then you can see that the LCD is now flush with the top. The rotary encoder comes out and points through, uh, and we're going to build the rest of the board and then screw it all together. So the first thing to do is we're going to take out all of these screws, um, and hopefully we're not going to lose any of these. Um, any of the. Uh, O-rings, because there's quite a few of them. How many mount points? It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mount points. Excessive. Well designed and sturdy as hell. Let's catch up with chat. Uh, will there be brass option for the plates? No. Can Milmax sockets fit into the OLED solder points? Uh, I don't think so, if I'm honest, uh, but I'd lean to, to you, pass for advice on that, but I don't think they were looking at them. Uh, the weight will be held in with three screws, not two. Oh yeah, it's just two screws on that one, yeah. That bottom curve is sexy. That bottom curve is lovely. Uh, is PCB going to come in some other color than green? I would hope so, because I'm not a fan of the green PCBs myself. I prefer blue or white. Uh, my wallet. Is this gasket mount? Uh, this is burger mount, or you can have it as top mount if you want to. Uh, as we confirm that for me as well. Uh, still hoping to snag this in the first come first serve craze of it. Good luck, man. Good luck. Uh, I was thinking of making the whole OLED, OLED hot swappable if possible, so I can switch between white and blue OLED when I wanted. Ah, uh, that makes sense. That's a good idea. Um, we have to speak with Upass on whether that's possible or not. Uh, I have heat map showing displacement versus number of mounted points you use. I haven't tried mill max. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is going to take a while to put back together. Uh, satisfaction, more well, like super keyboard faction 75. Yeah, uh, absolutely, Max. And it is really good to see you, dude. Uh, I'm so happy you you are here and on stream. Max is the guy behind the Cypher and the Anzi, um, uh, West Fox Trot, and uh, no bullshit meaningless science, thanks, there we go. <laughs> Max being Max. <laughs> there we go, okay, so that's that out of here. I'm gonna make sure we don't lose any of the uh, O-rings, because there are a lot of them. There we go. I'm going to pop that on there for now. We're just going to grab the rest of these O-rings. Just make sure we don't lose any of them. Okay. So many O-rings. Okay. 
now we've done that we can have a little bit of a better look at this so you can see again that there is these uh, secondary recesses I don't know if that's going to show it might be easier to show you on here actually uh, no it's not going to focus there are secondary recesses for the um, uh, for the o-rings to just sit in so it's not flush metal inside the uh, these divots um, if I tilt it in some way you should be able to see so you can see these divots here um, that there is it's not just flat on the bottom there is another recess around the hole but then just not going to show up because of the white material but there we go that's the top um, nice and steady put that to one side Oh, another o-ring just there there we go <coughs> So you can see this is how the uh, the PCB is going to fit uh, and the plate together. What we're going to do now is pop the stabilizers in. We're going to quickly lube and build those, and that's how it's going to sit on there. And then we'll start to look at the switches. Again, we'll just get some lube ready for these. Here. So for this one we're going for a 6.25U space build, um, as you can see here, if I get the right way around, uh, this is a 6.25U space bar, there we go, and then we've got another two stabilizers needed for there and there. So that's all we need, just the three, so we're going to pop bits to one side, two and three, then one, two and three, and then two, four and six. Pop the rest back in the bag and I'll sort these out into my filing cabinet later on, along with the ones from the last build. There we go. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Upas is posting links again. Oh, the heat maps, yes. Okay, interesting. Yep, yeah, okay, I can see how that works. Yep, yeah, good to know. Good to know. That space bar relief cut is interesting. Yes, it is. It's a nice little curved shape. Um, but I think Upas's uh, um, images show why he's done that. Um, Max saying hello. Uh, a Holland saying, hey Jill, Jay Chilton, they built two builds today. We've already built one board, the uh, the Brutal 60, which is here, which has got 180 gram springs in, and Jim K Modern Dolch, which is a rather nice looking board. Uh, and now we're building the Satisfaction 75. There we go. <clears throat> uh, that showed decently on your cam. I couldn't see it on my screen, but I'm, I'm glad you guys could see it. Looks like a solid top it is. If you're using screen and ISO, you'll likely need nylon spacers. Okay, I'll you have to use tape because I don't have any to hand, but we'll have a, a look um, if we do need them. We'll, we'll take a look at that. Looks like a fax stabs bag. Just got a second order two days ago from... Yeah, I got a massive order of about six packets the other day. Um, I use him a lot. Uh, he's really, really good, really responsive, um, and always, always uh, happy to help get stabilizers to me so I can never turn them down. Plus he's a good friend as well. Okay so I'm just going to clip these really quickly. Again just in the interest of time I'm not going to cover how I'm clipping them or what I'm specifically doing. I've done this on every stream I've ever done so you guys can go back and look at other ones if you want to see specifically where I'm clipping and why. I'm just going to quickly make my way through these. Okay, so that's all nicely clipped. Now I'm just going to pop these together. Um, and once these are together, we can then start to look at getting them lubed. And then once they're lubed, we can start getting them in the board. That's 
one done. <clears throat> oh, losing my voice, guys. This is the longest stream I've ever done a build stream for, I think. Or it will be soon. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit of time left yet before we hit my longest build stream. That's two done. Now we're just going to do the space bar. Okay. There we go. So we're going to now quickly loop these. Again, I don't propose I'm going to talk you through my looping method. Um, again, if you want to check this out, you can check one of the previous build streams and you'll be able to see in detail uh, exactly how and why I loop the way I do. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on to the other side of these now. I'm just I wasn't doing that on stream then. I do apologise. I'll catch up with chat as soon as I've done these. The reason I'm doing two builds today, guys, is because there's no build stream next week. So this is effectively both this week's and next week's streams all into one. Uh, and plus it means I can then take both boards to the UK meetup uh, next Saturday, which is in London. If any of you guys are going, I can't wait to see you there. Please do reach out, say hello. Um, come and finger some of my boards. Come and play with my knob and my Satisfaction 75. Um and uh, look forward to some of the giveaways. I will be giving away some prizes there as well, uh, both on behalf of Top Pack and just on behalf of myself, as well as helping the uh, the rest of the MK UK mod crew to organize the event. Um, and I'll also be getting up on stage and doing a little bit of a talk as well. So uh, some interesting things coming, guys. Making some good progress on these stabilizers now. <clears throat> last one. Oh no, wait, I've already done the space bar. Last one here. there guys I do apologize about this this is probably the worst part you guys want me to get through the build as quickly as possible you want me to plug this uh, satisfaction 75 in you want to see that OLED screen going and you want to see all the typing tests and see how the holy pandas sound in it I know I know we'll get there we will get there as quickly as I can okay almost there now guys Stabilizers are just about looped. Okay. And there we go. That's them all looped. Oh gosh. Okay, so now what we're going to do, guys, is pop these into the PCB. So, as I mentioned before, we've got the backspace. We're going to use a 2U backspace on this board. We're going to use the ISO Enter because that's what the plate supports. And then we're going to use a 6.25U space. I'm just going to work out which slots we need for that. Okay, so that is just here. And just there. Okay, let's screw these in. And then I'll catch up with chat. As soon as these are in the board, we'll catch up with chat. Uh, I hope I've got the right spot. Okay. 
So nothing underneath the space bar here. And again, as always guys, when you're screwing these in, you're just going to tighten them. You don't want to be crushing the PCB here. Um, the aim isn't to try and snap or break anything. It's literally just to give it nice, firm, tight mounting. Okay, we're gonna come up for the backspace key. And again, doesn't look like we're gonna short anything up here. second one Oops. again nothing shorting here on backspace let's take a look at the ISO ones doesn't look like anything is going to short on this either so we should be alright there's no components that are there that are surface mounted. If we do get a short we can always come back to it and fix it later. Making sure those are flush and then we've got the last one to do. Pretty sure that's not quite touching anything, so it should be okay from a, a stabilizer perspective. But if we do have any shorts, we can always go back and unscrew those and fix them at a later stage. So now, just to check that everything fits. Oh, the plate's quite tight here. Just tight around this ISO end key. There we go. All in place now. So you can see that's how the plate's going to look uh, with the stabilizers in, and that's broadly how it's going to sit. It's kind of away from the PCB. That's pretty much where it's going to sit. Let's just catch up to the uh, the chat, see what's going on. Uh, what's with the, the plate material and the semicircle around the switch, uh, the space switch bar? Um, that's a relief cut to help flex on the space bar key. Um, in terms of the plate material, it's carbon fiber. Uh, I did it super hard to get right, and if done wrong, it makes subs even worse. Yeah. Um, I always believed that I would get a TKL 1800 before I got a 75% key, but satisfaction changed my mind. Yeah, that happens. Strain relief is a new one for me. Uh, yeah, stress release on it. <clears throat> um, Pokemon Kids here as well. Then handing me my award when you win best in show. Matt, you can't win best in show. I can't win best in show because I'm a mod. You can't win best in show because you helped arrange the event. You were admin, you know you don't count. You know you don't count. Um, and after Jay's knob, you can play with my trackballs on my board. Yeah, Matt, look at my knob. How could you even compete with my knob? This, my knob is, you know, so nice that you just wouldn't have anything that could compete with it. It's just really heavy, it looks great, uh, it feels great, it's got nice girth and weight to it. You know, my knob is just better than, well, yours. <laughs> Uh, the build-up is what makes it exciting though. Does the no ISO support for satisfaction 75 still stand? Or does this build mean there will be ISO support? The PCB does support ISO. This is one of the prototype PCBs, but it's the PCB that will be in the board. Um, I think there's some slight tweaks to it, but ISO will be there. And I'm really glad that we convinced um, UPS to add it. Uh, the plate won't have ISO, correct, yes, so as Upas is saying, so if you wanted to do this, plate files are going to be open, if you want to build ISO, you just have to get yourself another plate. Um, carbon fiber plates for the J01, for example, were $35 each, brass one was $40, you know, you, you can quite easily find another plate for a relatively inexpensive price. Um, <clears throat> uh, so I would have to buy a separate plate, okay, you would have to buy a separate plate, yes, but I would rather have to buy a separate plate and have ISO support on the PCB than not have the option at all. That is my firm stance on it. Um, glue, I like a firm tight mounting, yep. <laughs> uh, Anarchy talking about his Acro Data keycap blue Alps with a pool ball for the track ball. Yes, we've seen that before, uh, a previous one. And a Mecha, Mecha, Mecha Orophosis, my custom 60 I made last year, which is the same width and this full size, yeah. 
Thought Scoob would be close to the the MCU. No, uh, I can show you just here. It's not that close to the MCU. It's it's fairly close, but there's a good millimeter of space all the way around it. Might be easier to show you in there actually. There you go. Look. Plenty of space all the way around. JD prefers screwing or PCB mount stabs. Screwing um, absolutely every time. Jay's knob brings all the boys to the yard. Yep, the knob king. Yep. <laughs> You can just call me the knob because that's fair as well. Uh, a travesty, I will admit, it does look like a well shined knob. It's going to get a lot of attention at the meetup, is my knob, I'll be honest with you. Lots of people are going to be playing with it. Uh, came here for the S75 hype, getting emasculated instead. My knob, yeah. Sorry, damage point, I do apologise. Taking off for a bit to help someone move. Have a good one, everyone. Thank you, Sashimi. Put pictures up of this board soon, and I know you'll catch up on the board. Right, let's talk switches. Let's get a move on and get this build done. So this board is going to have uh, holy pandas in there. Now I didn't have enough of one colour stem, so what we've got here is we've got white holy pandas for the mods and uh, the standard holy panda, the salmon colour for the alphas. So we're going to go ahead and start to put these switches in the plate. We've got a special space bar one here, it is 180 grams to bring in the space bar because that's what I was using in the previous build. So this is where we're going to have to pull the plate off and push the plate on afterwards because these switches are not going to go into the plate easily without a fight. Um, let me just get the plate off here, there we go. I may actually just trim these out for the ISO enter just to make it a little bit uh, easier. Is that going to cut easily do we think? Let me just, because that's a really tight fit and I don't want it to restrict the stabilizers in any way shape or form as I'm using them so I'm just going to trim these legs out. Sorry you passed to destroy this uh, plate but uh, it does need that just trimming down. It's just a little bit tight. With brass or something else it might be alright but on the, uh, the carbon fibre it's just a little touch too tight. I'm literally just getting some flush cutters in here. Just clipping it through. Don't know where that went. I think it's in my hair. Oh, it's on my chest. There we go. That will just make it a little bit easier to uh, to use. Quite smooth. Um, I don't have anything to file them off a little bit with. Just going to try and trim these a little bit. That'll just help it sit a little bit over the stabilizers, but it'll still have plenty of support where the switch is. So there we go. I'm good with that. Um, so now we're just going to pop the switches into the plate. Uh, trying to remember which are alphas and which are mods. As you can hear, these do clip into the plate quite nicely because the pandas are larger switches than <laughs> anything else. These are original pandas as well, they're not Jesus or anything else. These are pandas from the original group by um, the last of my stock that I hadn't used. And I'm going to have really sore thumbs tomorrow. Uh, 180 gram spring. Yeah, just for the space bar. The rest are 67 grams. Um, I like a heavy space bar, so this is ideal for me. Uh, need to invest in the finger condoms. Yeah, probably do. That carbon. It's okay, Jay. My apologies. I'll go yell at my finger. I think the tolerances are just a little bit off. It's a little bit too tight. And the last thing I want to do is pinch the ISO enter key and have it not return or something like that. So. Just give it a little bit more flexibility there. Vintage holy pandas. Yep, you got it. You got it. Oops. Once we've got these pressed into the plate, we'll be then just we should be able to just line the plate up over the top of the PCB because these are plate mount switches, they're not PCB mount ones. Make sure everything's nice and level. Um, and because these are plate mount, it means that there's no additional pins on the bottom that I need to get through the PCB other than the central uh, pin and the two solder points. Everything else is just flush on the bottom, so you can see here there's no additional legs that make it a PCB mount switch. But given how tight these are anyway, we wouldn't need them. Round one pandas, yep, yeah, the last of my stock of unused round one pandas. Um, so these 
I've had these sat in a drawer for the best part of two years now, something like that. Okay, and remember we're doing mods with the white clear halo clear stems um, and these are the halo true stems for the alphas. Um, at least you can snip carbon fiber hard with brass. Yeah, I'd have had to get the Dremel out with brass, but that would have been fine. The other option, of course, is always you can trim down your housings on these stabilizers to make it a little bit less tight that way, but I'd prefer to do it this way if I can. Okay, I'm getting a thumb ache <laughs> from pushing all these switches in today, guys. My thumb is taking a right beating. Look at that. Definitely need those finger condoms. Nathan Kim, where are you? Send me some finger condoms, please, dude. Interesting how the Holy Panda stand with a carbon fiber plate. Don't think I've seen that combo before in a typing test. Um, I don't think I've got them in a carbon fiber plate anywhere else. The the ones the Holy Pandas that are in the other J01 build are in a brass plate. So I don't think I have tried them in that either. Okay, making solid progress in there, guys. This is where I find out I've got one, two, few switches for the for the non-mod keys here, which will be disappointing to say the least, but we'll be all right. Or I've got one, two, few keys or something like that. I do have some more uh, Halo True stems if we need them, um, so I can tweak and adjust that. Oh no, it look, looks like we're all right. Looks like we're okay. Perfect. So the other ones I'm not going to put in here now are going to be the ISO enter and the backspace ones, um, purely because they don't have specific slots. Uh, but anything that does have a specific slot is going to go in there. No. Hoping the orientation of all these switches is the same as well, and there's none that you've got the wrong way around because I haven't been checking. So if you pass has done something slightly naughty with these switch orientations, I'll get found out pretty quickly. Okay. We're gonna go with two keys there, two 1.5 U keys, but we'll uh, we'll put them in once we've got them above the board so we can work out where they need to go. I'm gonna go for stepped caps lock as well. And I hope uh, Meister Grinseppo is here as well because he's gonna need to put up some poles soon for the options for um, the, uh, the way we're gonna lay out Chocolatier, so whether we're going to go with the novelties or anything like that, or we need the coloured space bars. Okay, just work our way around the top of the board here. Also, then we should have one, two, three, four switches left over. So we need uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, might be one short here actually. Might be a switch short. Let's see. Okay. Every switch is south facing. Excellent. Excellent. I'm hoping you didn't rotate the ISO one either because that's quite common and that's always really frustrating. Um, I read the comments of Walker's OG versus Jesus comparison video that Jesus sounds better than the OG Panda. Anyone on? Uh, well, that's his opinion. I think that the OG Panda sound better than the Jesus ones, but you know, it's it, each to their own. Each to their own. 
um, you know, everyone has different views on stuff like that. Um, I, yeah, I definitely personally prefer the RG Pandas. Thinking about the sounds, uh, I definitely personally prefer them. Okay, let's just make sure we've got enough switches in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got enough switches. We're good on the switch front. Oh dear, it is rotated as well. It is rotated. Pona's right. right. Let's try and get this uh, all set together now, nice and flush. Then, given the, that we're doing it this way, there might be some switches that end up with bent pins here, but we'll see how we get on. Sorry guys, I know this is off camera. I'm just literally trying to uh, push everything together. take some pressure to just clip everything in and I think we'll have to do the same when we come around to soldering it just put a little bit more pressure on the plate to get the solders in okay I think everything's looking right we just need to put a little bit of pressure as I say when we're soldering it but that should be fine let's just go around and check if there are any switches that need to be replaced because we've bent the pin there's two just up here one two Check if there's any more. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, I'm basically just checking if they're stabbing me. If they are, we're good. If I get two pricks in the finger, we're all good. Okay. My poor thumb. Okay, uh, almost there now, guys. Okay, we haven't put those in yet. Okay, everything else is fine. So let's flip this back over. Let's get these two switches uh, fixed and back in place. the second okay let's get the one in for backspace this rotated one for ISO enter and then we've got the two 1.5 U keys in here which I think are there and that's where we'll guess. We can always change them when we get around to it. Okay, so we go. That's all of the switches in place. Uh, well, you need to speak to uh, to Martin Upas because he didn't have to rotate that switch on the uh, uh, the plane sixty. So there we go. <clears throat> OG Pandas, uh, OG Spring, uh, lube, the spring is lubed with uh, Quitox 106 and the Panda stems only on the slider rails have been lubed with 205 grade zero, so we shall see how that goes. Um, one of the big challenges we're going to have here is soldering with the uh, uh, the length of the, um, uh, the rotor encoder because that does stick out quite a distance. If I was going to do this again, I would probably not have soldered this in until last, but you live and learn. Let's get our soldering gear ready again. Oops. Just give me one second, guys. That was my uh, other pieces. There we go. Apologies about that. Okay, get the solder back in. 
What was that? It was a top case of the, uh, um, uh, the I've got like a, another kayak in the corner that's made of solid copper and it was a top piece of that that just slid off. Um, I must have just knocked something over here and it just knocked it for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, the copper kayak is going to be on stream at some point soon. It's fine, by the way. It's not dented. It's probably cut by four, but other than that, it'll be all right. Sorry, man. I do apologize for your headphones. Uh, let's get the soldering show on the road. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tack again in the corners. I'm going to try and put pressure on to, uh, to tack these properly. I'm probably just going to put that underneath there just so I can get a bit of pressure down and get these properly aligned. And then I'm going to do a few in the middle as well. Okay, we come over to this side. I'm going to really try and press down, make sure that everything's fully aligned. Come up into this top corner, do the same again. Okay, come over here and do one of the top keys up here. And then we're going to try and do a couple in the middle. I'm probably going to just try and push this down like so. Just using something to push up from the underside so I can make sure that everything is nice and tight where I'm soldering. And that's going to hold the rest of the switches in place then. Remove that. So everything's now nice and flush. You can see, guys, that that's all nice and flush on all of the sides. And then left side just there. So that's all nice and flush all the way around. So everything's sitting as it should, which means now I don't need to put any pressure on. It doesn't matter that I'm that I'm soldering at an angle because that that that's holding it off off of the desk. Beats Nathan Kim's drop test. Clip it. Oh, I apologise, guys. It's just a bit of copper in the background. It's nothing important. It's. Uh, one of those things, but I'm sorry if it hurt anyone's ears. <laughs> okay, let's crack on with the solder. I'm going to go the opposite way around on this one. I normally start at the, start at the top, uh, but I'm keen to start at the bottom on this one, just because I think if there's going to be any problems, it's going to be uh, around these bottom keys. The rest of the plate is pretty solid, so I'm broadly comfortable. I'm not going to have any issues there. Okay, I'm just going to do the numpad as well. Not the numpad, sorry, the arrow keys. A funny looking numpad. Okay. So when we get down to putting the keys on, guys, Mr. Green Seppo or Meister Green Seppo, as you're already there, um, if you can confirm if people want to in the straw poll, use two questions. Firstly, uh, should we use the um, novelties or not and then secondly should we use the blue or the yellow i think there's a yellow space bar as well uh, the blue space bar or the brown one for the board so uh, votes in when you can uh, so as soon as meister green has put those straw poles up if you crack on with them and then i'll get them up as well and we'll go with whatever the popular vote is Good progress here. Again, another board that's got nice big pads so it's easy to solder and we can be quite quick with it. Uh, some boards these days have really tiny little pads and are a pain to solder. one is looking good in all respects. I'm just going to come down and do this side panel now. I 
Ah, there we go. There's straw poles, guys. Okay, so Upas has just said if he doesn't, uh, if he did run rotate the switch, it would interfere with the plus five volt LED spot on ANSI backslash. But I was able to do it in place because it included LEDs. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Okay. Okay, I've got the uh, options up. So let's see what people say on those. Oh, everyone's saying yes to the novelties, 86% for the novelties. Um, blue space bar people saying yes at the minute, that's winning. Okay, we'll come back to that. Um, I'll have a look at those before we put the keycaps on. Of course, we've got a little bit of time before we get there. We've got to uh, test the board once it's all plugged together. And then we've got to screw the case together as well, but plenty of time for you guys to enter those uh, bits and pieces there. I am really excited to show you guys this LED on the Satisfaction 75. I'm so excited to be building this board. Um, I haven't been this excited since I did the J01, I don't think. Um, and I'm really excited for some other boards as well. Anyone know when the key cult number two raffle goes up? Because I'm tempted to enter that as well. Even though it's an ANSI board, I'm tempted to try and grab one. If anyone knows that, Neo Jonathan, if you're watching, you will know. You're always hot on the news like that. So enter key here, that's one pin, and that's the second pin. I'm just going to refill that one a touch. There we go. Okay, uh, next Sunday, April 20th. Yeah, I thought it was about a week away. I couldn't remember if it was in the middle of the week or not. Uh, Nathan has almost given one away on the 20th. Yes, well, sadly, I can't win that, uh, but you guys can. Uh, if I did win that one, I would tell him to re-raffle it, I've got to be honest. It wouldn't be uh, fair of me to keep that. Okay. Apologies this is taking so long to solder, guys. This is a much bigger board than the last one. There's quite a lot more keys on it, 20 plus more keys. So it's just going to take me a little bit longer to get through it. Just two more rows to go after this one, and then we're done. I thought about not flying down the pin then. <laughs> okay. If any of you guys have got any questions that you want to tag me in and ask uh, about preferences or anything like that, please do as well. Uh, we can treat it as a mini informal FAQ section given the fact that I've been going so long today. Uh, I'm keen to have those conversations with you guys. Good to see that it's sticking near the 100 viewer mark as well, that's really nice to see. So any of you that aren't chatting, uh, it's good to have you on board. In fact, just while I was looking earlier on at our Nightbot, um, one of the interesting things I noticed that uh, Talisman Solutions is not only our number one uh, gift sub giver, our number one bit uh, submission submissioner, but he's also our number one chatter. He has more posts in chat than anybody else uh, since we started using the notebook a few months ago. Um, so there we go, guys. He holds all the records um, right now. There's uh, no one can take him off the top spot. Okay, last row here to solder, because we've already done the bottom row. I'll try and be as fast as I can. Okay. see if everything works as it should and then once we've done that we can then start to uh, look at putting the board together properly screwing it all down 
and then getting those keycaps that you guys have been voting on, on as well. switch to go and there we go that is it Whew. right okay oh. <clears throat> good guy Jay uh, follows on all those platforms there we go uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm reading that um, the legend yes <clears throat> with all those joint pins and the multiple layout options are you bottom row if you accidentally flow the solder into the second opening do you need to desold that opening um, generally not no if you um, so let me show you for example so if I if I joined um, so so for example uh, where's a good option to show you so here um, there's two switch points okay I've got one the switch points on the left and the switch points on the right they're already joined together you just can't see it and between the PCB they're on the same um, they're on the, they're on the same uh, row effectively they are the same switch so even if I soldered the other ones or flooded those holes with solder it would still work just fine uh, you're not bridging across the two solder points you're only bridging across the ones that are on the same column effectively um, and in the same switch location, so that's that location of moving the switch, you know, 0.5 view or 0.25 view to the, the left is the same effectively. Okay, so there we go, guys. That's that all put together. What I am going to do is I'm going to take off that film on the LED. There we go. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to test the, uh, the board and make sure it all works. So I'm going to plug this in. And there you go, guys. You can see that that is now working. We'll get up switch hitter. Uh, where is my mouse? Okay. So you guys should be able to see that in the bottom corner. We're going to go through the keys and see what we get. See if anything doesn't work. Okay. Okay, all looking good. Good so far. Step caps is working fine. Okay. Oh, okay. So your key map has got my. You've got your nubs uh, and NUHS on the same key. Uh, we passed. So if you can just give me a fixed hex for this. Um, this one should one should be NUHS and the other one should be NUBS in uh, um, in QMK, uh, and that will give me a backslash down at the bottom because that one is hash. Okay, all looking good. All looking good there. And then we've got page up and page down. And that's the FN key button, I know that. Uh, control, win, alt, spacebar, alt, and control. So there we go, all working. FN is there. Uh, let's just try P. There we go. Uh, see if anything is on the layer. I don't know if anything is. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's on the layer to so test it, but uh, we can come back up with that. Uh, we've got this one right, so which are, if this is nubs, then the other one's NUHS. I think this one is NUBS though, I think it's NUBS. Um, so there we go. The knob, I will put my knob in place uh, when I put the board together. So now that everything is working, that's all looking really, really good. Uh, I'm not going to show you this until later on, uh, we'll get to that later. Um, I'm going to close down the switch hitter. There we go. Unplug the board, and now it's time to put everything back in the case. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is pop the LED, sorry, not the LEDs, the O-rings back in their positions. So I'm going to start to do this now. And this is going to be very time consuming and fiddly, but it'll be worth it in the long run, I promise, guys. this burger mount for you. Okay. I'm just going to move the soldering iron now that we don't need it. Now that we're completely done with that, it can go right out of the way. Oops. These are so fiddly. So it's a little bit easier by hand. There 
we go. Okay, almost there now. Last one. I'm going to turn this over. Uh, I just do top and bottom J, not all 12. Wait, you like it stiff? Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to do all, all of them because I prefer a stiff, a stiffer feel to a board uh, rather than a more flexible one, but that's my personal preference. Okay, so now they're all in place, I'm just going to try propping up this corner with something a little bit higher than the... Uh, there we go. And then grab my screwdriver, the right bits back in, and then we can start to screw these all back together. Again, we're not going tight with these, we're just going until we start to see some compression of the O-ring. You don't want to go any tighter than just seeing a little bit of compression, to be honest. Shouldn't have done this one first, but oh well. Just, as I say, going until we start to see compression of the O-ring. We're not going tight. Um, there's a lot left in these screws. You could go an awful lot tighter. <clears throat> but as I say, we're just making sure that we're getting that little bit of compression, um, making sure that the burger mount's doing what it should be, and that we're still getting some of the benefits of using this mounting system. <laughs> Plasma solutions saying diametrically opposed and all of that kind of goodness again. Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate that. I do need to remember all of these counter diagonal. No, rotationally counter opposing. That's the one I want to remember. Okay. Almost there now, guys. Not many more to do. As I say, we're not going tight on these. We're just going until we see that little bit of compression of the O-ring. Um, we could tighten these all the way up, but then we'd lose the benefit of why we're using this mountain point mountain system. So there's no point in doing that. Last one now. There we go. Okay, that's all of that put together. We can now take the base and put the base on here. Ruah. There we go. And then we're going to pop these back in. Again, we're going to go uh, rotationally counter opposing with these, uh, or diametrically opposed. Or where we can, we will anyway. No worries about the uh, the top and the bottom case not being aligned. There's only one position you can sit in, and the tolerance is really tight on this board, so it's not one we have to try and align. So we can just go tight straight away on the first screw. Feel that nip together. progress now <sighs> um, I like counter crosswise yeah how much were round one tangerines I think they were quite cheap I've used tangerines in a few builds I don't remember them being expensive switches I think they're about 65 cents a switch if I remember right or something like that 
Um, so I've relieved the factory I used messed up the machining on the bottom and made a huge border radius. Sad times. You satisfied my evening. Uh, <laughs> thanks very much, dude. Where are you estimating the group B to fire up? Oh, it should be soon. It should be soon. May. May is what he's telling us. Again, super long threads on these screws. Oh, we've got Quirdenka hit right at the very end. Hello, good evening, sir. Must have been in the midnight for you. White and carbon fibre and holy penders equals holy buckets, yep. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> I bet he can tap on his feet without caps. Um, <clears throat> you're building Nathan Kim in a desperate effort to capture the top back of the audience as a result of building foot pedals for trans. Is 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 uh, Mr. Nathan Kim live? There's no reason why people can't watch both of us. That's fine. Um, I'm absolutely fine. Uh, sorry, I had to check out the uh, Anno 1800 music. Yes, I've been playing that as well myself. It's, real, it's rather good. But this is the board. It looks fantastic. Um, there you go, guys. Look at that. Look how nice this is. Um, even though there's some problems with the finish, I'm really, really happy with this. Um, you know what this means. It is keycap time. So let's have a look. Oh, my God. The blue space bar. Uh, the vote is 50-50 on that one. So don't know what we're going to do there. <laughs> um, and the vote on the novelties is yes. So we're going to go for the novelties. Um, I'm just going to not use the blue space bar. Executive decision. Okay, let's put the board up here. Let's get the keycap tray out. We can start to put all of this together. Um, gosh, look at everything. Okay, guys. Um, should we use the yellow ones? Yes, we should. That's what you said. Uh, so let's put these on first. I'm not a fan of the blue ones personally, so I'm not going to go for using those. There we go, that's in place. Uh, how about I use a Wonka key for my win key? That looks quite nice. I think that'll do for novelties. We're going to use the standard 6.25U spacebar, so we don't need that, but we do need the 2 and 3 and the other UK keys, so we're going to get these out here. Put these on first. And we need that as well. We know we've got FN just there, so we'll pop that in now while we've got the key out. And we've got the at key here and the hash key as well. So that sets us up nicely for that. This is the first time this keycap set's been opened as well. So these are brand new. There we go. And for actually guys, the other thing we could do as well is what do you feel about putting a golden kippura on the escape? How's that? Golden Kippura or not? I'll let you guys decide. <clears throat> no, no, blue. Oh, you want me to use the blue one? Right, okay, guys. Um, if anyone ever uses uh, Kedra or Twitch Mullstream, you can watch both. Yep, that's fine. No one, we can do that. Uh, final key cap time, need to go to bed. <laughs> flip a coin, but yet flip a copper case. I've already done that, I'm not doing it again. Uh, Selling me your own seat? No, I'm not selling the key caps. Much more like a test run for striker than something. Uh, well, I wonder if the blue will match striker. Actually, that might be a way to get our ISO on there quite easily. Um, mod coloured that and uh, pipe. I don't think it has a mod coloured pipe key, guys. I don't think I can put mod coloured here. I don't think it has one. But we can change that for a mod coloured key. I think. Uh, maybe. Nope, we can't. Sorry, uh, you distracted me now. Anyway, guys, it's uh, 
the only option there for that key is uh, is alpha coloured, I think, as far as I can tell. I'll have a look in the other kits in a second. 100 Kipora, you want you guys want the Kipora on the escape. And should we change this for blue? If you want this to change in blue, just put blue in the chat and I'll I'll change it for the blue one. I do that I will change this escape key and there we go golden Kipora just for you guys uh, yellow yellow stay golden no blue no blue right okay no one wants blue okay cool <clears throat> Not blue. No one wants blue. That Kipora though. Yeah, Kipora is one of my favourite sculpts right now. Uh, and that golden one is absolutely stunning. Um, it was a private group by that uh, Otan ran and uh, kindly invited me to. Get on with this. I want to see that special knob of yours. Yeah, yeah alright. I'm going as fast as I can. Stop moaning, guys. Uh, I need step caps lock. There it is. Okay. Oh, so many keys. We'll get there, though, guys. We'll get in there. Uh, where's the 1.25 U shift? Please tell me have one. There it is. And then we need that key as well. Sadly, there isn't a mod colored ISO one, otherwise, I would have gone for it. Include not to mention the knob, uh, not to mention the compulsion of use for instant gratification. That's always a true thing. Uh, I opened my chocolatier today, today too. Such a nice looking set. I went straight brown though. That's fair. That's fair. There's no right or wrong with this kind of stuff. It's all what people prefer preference wise. I do wish this had had the golden ticket um, text on it though. That would be nice. There we go. The arrow keys in place. Blue might match the knob more if I remember rightly. Maybe, maybe, but we'll see. The uh, the nice thing about this Kapura is by chance it's golden. It's also got these kind of lilac -y bits in, which um, are very similar to the uh, the knob colours. So um, I think we might be all right. Uh, Control and Alt, and then I think it's the space bar. Is that the wrong size? Oh yes, that's uh, definitely the wrong size. There we go. Uh, and then we're just going to go for Alt and Control over here. Alt and Control. And we've just got uh, page up and page down to put in. I just want to make sure I've got the right profile ones there we go page up and page down all looking good there okay guys that's the uh, the board all key capped up so there we go here it's time for the knob I'm just gonna undo the uh, the fixing for this I've got the right hand key out somewhere there we go. There we go. I'm just going to tighten that up. Okay. And there we go, guys. This is the Satisfaction 75 
carbon fiber plate, white, E white finish, GMK chocolatier, golden Kapura, which the colors, it's, it's so bad on the camera. Uh, I, I can't tell you how nice that Kapura is. And the brass and mother of pearl inlaid knob. My beautiful, beautiful knob. What do you think, guys? And then on the bottom, there's the secret weight design. Right. Upas, can I? Can I, Upas? Let me. Let me, please. Let let's uh, let's see if we can do the tease. Uh, let's see if we can convince him. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. But there is solid brass under there. Let me do it. Uh, if Upas says uh, says do it, you have a tease for. Let me just take it off, man. Let me just show them. Let me just show them. <sighs> okay, he's saying no. He's saying no. Let's get the. Uh, the board plug back in and let's take a look at uh, the there we go guys so then we've got the controls on here uh, that's not working at the minute I don't know if that needs a minute to go uh, have you got this right doesn't seem to be uh, making any changes you pass I'll let you tell me what I'm doing on that. Um, anyway, before we do that, um, we're going to do a bit of a typing test. I'm just going to make sure that I'm somewhere I can type. Um, tease pick. That's not a tease. That's not a tease. That's not a tease at all. Um, yeah, what am I got? Did I screw it on? Yeah, it, it's screwed on. Is the knob? I can feel it rotating underneath. It's it's, it's screwed on. Um, <laughs> I pressed it on, and it, it's screwed on. I've tightened it up. I use my Allen key. It's tight. It's spinning the encoder underneath. I can feel it clicking as I'm doing it. Um, so yeah. So um, tell him, Jay. I've I've told him risky click of the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've told him I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys. But it, it is time for me to, uh, to do a bit of a sound test on this board and, and show it works like while Upas is telling me, hit a fan encoder. Oh, there we go. There we go. Off. Okay. Uh, layer zero. Uh, caps, look. caps is on. Oh, I like that. Okay. Volume. Um, what else can I do with it? Uh, it doesn't seem to be off on layer zero, layer one. Okay, that works. Ah, uh, okay, I have to hold the FN key down. Okay, I can see it. You guys probably can't see that that's changing, but it is. Let me see if I can just get this camera to focus down on this. I'm not sure if I can, but let me have a go. Apologies if this goes weird. Uh, oh, gosh, apologies. Zoom first. Okay, looks like as far as it's going to zoom. Let's see if we can get any better focus. It looks like it's about as close as it's going to go. I'm probably going to have to take pictures of this and show it. Um, but if I if I hold down FN uh, and tab, you can probably see it changing there. So it does work. Uh, uh, okay, so that's working. So my volume is now moving up and down on the computer. Um, so my desktop volume is changing literally as I look at it on the screen so you guys can't see that but it is um, uh, med I don't know what med does uh, okay so that's not doing anything screen okay so there's lots of different things I need to have a, a look at how that works um, oh, okay so backlight as well yeah okay so it has got everything on there it is all working now um, let me get the camera fixed. Pow! That should fix the camera. There we go. And that should fix the focus. There we go. Okay. So right. Um, set different encoder modes. Okay. Yeah, it is really cool. So F and encoder changes to the OLED mode. Yeah, I've I've worked it out now. I need to have a play around with the settings, but I'll take some good pictures of it later on. Um, let's do a bit of a sound typing test and see how it sounds. Let me make sure I'm not going to turn the stream off or something like that.
There we go, guys. Uh, no, no email to a boss again. That was actually a nursery rhyme, but I'm not going to tell you what it was. Um, does it sound compared to the brutal? Very different. So if I get the brutal out here. You hear a little bit more rattle and ping inside the case here, but it's not too bad. Um, I've definitely heard worse. We'll fix that later on and try some stuff later on off stream. Um, but this board sounds really good. I'm really, really happy with it. I don't want to type that in, so. It looks really good. I'm really happy with this. I think this board is absolutely stunning. It looks great. Guys, I really wish I could show you how nice this Kapura looks on this board. It really fits that whole golden ticket theme and the Mother of Pearl kind of reflected across them both. OLED screen looks great. It's it's nice and flush with the, uh, the, um, with the case. I think it looks great. I want to use this as a daily board. I don't want to let it go. Um, so there we go. Uh, it sounds solid. No bad noises can hear. Great job. It sounds great. Um, it sounds fantastic, I've got to be honest. It sounds really good. Uh, Jay, you're having to try an ergodox to save your wrists. I've got a split VEA up here, which I do type on quite a lot. Um, my wrists feel more comfortable if I'm typing like that. And uh, rather than like this, I feel squished and uncom uncomfortable a lot of the time. Um, but I can put them at opposite angles so that we can have the rectangles go like that. Um, and then I can type much more comfortably. Once I've compressed some squishy tool liner in my Brutal 6, I got rid of all the ping. Now my now it's on board. Uh, Kelly87 says, hey Jay, guess who it is? It's, it's Kelly87. Um, so hi Kelly. <laughs> Gorman Dallas, yep. Yeah. Uh, Tenstrong says, can we get the bottom profile angle a bit? So holding it aside uh, from the camp. Yes, of course you can. I was going to do a full 360 view anyway. So here we go, guys. So this, you can see here, there's the Kapura. Uh, there's the key set looking good. There's the mother of pearl knob from the back You can see that it's got the weight and the raised part if we turn it onto the side profile You can see it's got that nice curve with the flat base uh, makes it nice and easy to pick up From the front it's relatively low. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a low board at the front, but it's certainly not high um, Key caps sit nice. It's a really really high profile actually the, one of the things that I really like about it is it, it's quite significantly more high profile than a lot of other boards uh, coming onto the far side, like so, and then onto the base. Uh, as I say, there's that weight there. That I really want to show you that Upas won't let me show you, so uh, there we go. Um, but yeah, this does sound great. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I think it's really, really good. Uh, Holy Pandas are lubed on the sliders with Crytox 205 Grade 0, and the springs are lubed with 106, but they're the original uh, Panda springs, the OG Panda springs. Look at the screen when you type. Um, I can. I, I, it's, do you know what? It's really difficult typing when I'm on screen because I'm so nervous about it because so many people complain about my typing style. It makes me really nervous when I do these typing tests at the end of the build. And because of that, I can't help but look at the board. When I'm typing normally, I don't need to look at the board. I know where my fingers are and I know what I'm doing. On stream, it's different matter entirely. Put me in front of 100 people watching me stream and then you know, yeah, it, it doesn't go so well. Um... Do you have a source for the programming of the screen? I think you're putting a screen on a board, but not sure where to go for the programming. Uh, there you go. Um, Kelly, shoot, he figured it out so fast. Darn. <laughs> you know, there you go. Um, fuck, I like pandas. Yeah, I agree. How does it feel? It feels really nice. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a fair bit of flex. If you, if you, if you watch when I press here or here, you can kind of see that everything is flexing. Uh, I'm not sure how well that's translating, but there is a lot of flex on the board. Um, even with all of those mount points, you can still feel the flex. Um, carbon fiber is pretty much as stiff as you can get. It feels like brass a lot of the time, so you're getting about the same flexibility as you would with brass. But what you're actually getting here is the compression of those O-rings um, underneath the uh, the screws. That's what you're seeing here when I'm typing and what you're feeling as well. And you feel that softer bottom out because you basically you, you've got the PCB and an O-ring underneath it, and that O-ring underneath is getting compressed. Um, as you type, rather than it, um, rather than just being against a flat screw that's got no give, that's where the flexibility comes in. <clears throat> Jay, there's no need for a man with a knob as fine as your performance anxiety when typing. It's just that so many people complain about my typing style that I get nervous about it and I don't like to do it. 
Um, I would, if I could, if I could type and cover my hands, and you guys didn't want to see the board while I was typing, that would be fantastic because then no one could complain about what I was doing with my hands and fingers and all that kind of stuff. So there we go. Um, Tuxki has to go. Uh, yeah, I'll be wrapping up in a second as well. Hey, it's just jealous of the Nord. Uh, Jay, I mean, look at the OLED screen on the board when you type. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So let's have a look at that. Let me just try this one second, guys. Don't let the haters win. Yeah. Why isn't that going in? Okay. <laughs> just chill out. Trolls are everywhere. Oh my gosh. Guys, okay, so I can't show you this, but there is a really cool feature that he's just shown me. So what I want to be able to show you is... I'll see if you guys can see. So, so get get your screen on full screen, guys. But if you can see in this bottom corner, just here where my finger is, there's kind of a little rectangle. I don't know if you guys will see this, but if I hold that down, do you see that it lights up extra? Oh, hold on, let me do. You see it lights up. It's basically lighting up for every individual key press on there in the right location for the key that you've pressed. That is fantastic. That is really fantastic. Um. Upas, I definitely need you to make a video of that and share it because that is really cool. In fact, I'm probably going to make a video of that and share it because that is super cool. That's a really good feature. Um, that's awesome. That is really, really cool. Really cool. Um, don't let haters win. Yeah, I won't. Do you want more flex with tactile switches and less with any? It's a difficult one to answer, is that? So I prefer a firmer feel with all switches. Um, people who like flex tend to like linears and not tactile switches because they want a really smooth, bouncy typing feel. So most people say you want flex for uh, linear switches and you want you know, as firm as possible for tactile. The thing with the tactile switch is you've got a bump to get over. If, as you're pressing, if the PCB is flexing before you get over that bump, then when you do get over the button, it's gonna the PCB is gonna lose attention and pop back. Now, it's only a really slight issue, but I think you want a firmer plate for uh, for tactiles for me, um, because of that. And you for a linear, you want a uh, a flexible plate if you like flexible feeling to type. So there we go. Yeah, artisan knobs, nice new market. Yeah, that that is it's just stunning. It, it just looks so good. Looks so good. I'm definitely going to have to take some nice pictures of this and get them on Instagram, guys. Um, so do be checking that out. Uh, again, big shout out to my keyboard uh, for support sponsoring this stream with the switches and the lubes. Thank you very much, uh, Yulia and David. I really appreciated that. It was really nice of you. Um, them with uh, Jan also donated the Modern Dolch set, which is somewhere over there that's uh, that's going to be used for the giveaway for Top Clax, uh logo design contest. So if you guys haven't entered that already and you really want to get your hands on a set on Dolch, please feel free to enter. It doesn't matter how good your artistic skills are, we're looking for inspiration, not necessarily someone to come and blow our socks off with a whole design philosophy. So you know, anything will do. Um, here's another teaser for the wait. Um, that's really not a tease. Um, I'm gonna peel this off without without showing anyone because I don't want the stuff on the board. And I want to make sure I've not damaged the weight. Um, how about you pass? Okay, before we finish, how about you pass? If I do it with just one layer of tape on there, so I've taken off a layer of tape. How about if I quickly flash the board uh, underneath the camera or even to the smaller camera up here um, with just one layer of uh, one layer of tape on it? Okay, Jay, fine. So I'm going to do this with one layer of tape on it. I'm going to do a really quick flash, less than one second, um, on the smaller camera. So this is uh, this is a flash. So uh, uh, have a go. Smaller camera, one layer of tape. There you go. Done. <coughs> I hope you guys saw it. <laughs> Clip it. We got him. Clip it. You still can't see much, but you can see a little bit. Um, and I held it up a little bit too high there, but there you go. Um, teaser, teaser. <laughs> it is really good. Um, couldn't see shit. Yeah, it's definitely a dick butt. It's not a dick butt, but it's really cool. Half Life 3 confirmed. Yeah, absolutely. You're on my wavelength theme. Yep. Right, guys, it's 11 o'clock for me. Um, <clears throat> I've done two uh, two builds. You guys can go and have a look at that and post pictures in the Discord if you actually manage to capture it. Um, 
<clears throat> I'm going to go and enjoy this a little bit more. I'm going to do that. It's my least pain. Yep, that's it. Um, I'm going to go and do some more uh, more typing on this board because it sounds great. Um, and I need to pack for the UK meet up today as well because I'm not going to have a chance during the week. I will be on the show on Thursday. I won't be doing a build stream next week. They were both today. Pilot XJ, thank you for the 200 bits right at the end of the stream. Thank you, dude. Um, it's been a really awesome build. I've really loved having you guys here today. And uh, I'm going to get off now. Um, so I'll see you later. Catch you in the Discord. See you guys.